Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. I'm at American Comics. Draw cards and become gods. Chapter 81. Is this guy a little sick? Lin Tae muttered with a weird expression as he looked at Blade, who was rushing straight towards his target. Could it be that he killed so many vampires himself, but he still couldn't prove his strength? Although he can generally understand Blade's kindness, Lin Tae always feels that his stunned face really gives many people a feeling of harmless to humans and animals. So much so that he has already killed the quartet, and as a result, the superhero who sees the injustice ran out to block the gun for himself. Boom. However, before Lin Tae could figure it out, a loud noise came from right in front of him. The explosion, probably caused by a grenade or some kind of high explosive charge, directly blasted the charging blade fighters back behind Lin Tae. Da da da. Immediately afterwards, a series of gunshots rang out. The 310 bullet hit Lin Tae without causing any damage. Even with the blessing of the psionic stand, Lin Tae's clothes were not damaged at all. Face asked me to lead the people. Lin Tae slowly walked forward, holding two pistols. Turn a blind eye to the bullets that hit the pavement. The vampires on the internal defense saw this scene, and they couldn't help being a little scared. They're not actually too afraid of conventional weapons, however. It didn't come like this. I don't know if it was because of fear that they completely lost their minds, or for some other reason, the vampires who were defending inside did not respond to Lin Tae's intentions at all. Just when Lin Tae shook his head helplessly and was about to raise his gun, a vampire found a .50 general purpose machine gun from nowhere and clipped it to their bunker. Boom. The bullets attacked Lin Tae instantly as if they didn't want money. Bah. Spitting out a bullet, Lin Tae narrowed his eyes and put away his plasma pistol and bolter. This is the first time he really, eats, a gun. If it hadn't been for these little brothers, I'm afraid it wouldn't be the real boss Talon who was so easy to bully. Gaba, Gaba. Clenching his fists, Lin Tae bowed his body, and his whole body instantly turned into an afterimage. Before the vampires could react, Lin Tae had already come to them. Everyone, have you ever seen true power? Lin Tae looked at the vampires with a smile, and asked very, kindly. How can a group of vampires be in the mood to play a quiz game with Lin Tae, this is not a movie. Just as he came back to his senses, more than a dozen vampires, with more than a dozen automatic weapons, instantly aimed at Lin Tae. Da da da. Without the slightest hesitation, the bullets poured out, however, without causing any damage to Lin Tae. Very disappointed, really disappointed, I thought you guys would have more fun. Lin Tae shook his head, looked at the vampires who had fallen into madness and sighed with disappointment. Fire in the hole. Just as Lin Tae's voice fell, a guy who came out of the warehouse in the back shouted and threw a bag of grenades directly at Lin Tae. Boom. The flames caused by a series of explosions instantly filled the small room completely. Not only the vampires surrounding Lin Tae, but the vampire who threw the grenade was also included in the explosion range. After a few seconds, the flames receded, and the surroundings were already in ruins. Blade, who had just recovered his strength, also saw the exaggerated explosion and rushed over. But, it was different from what he imagined. The young man in casual clothes who felt, harmless, did not suffer any harm in this exaggerated explosion. Yo, awake. Lin Tae felt Blade, turned his head and asked with a smile. Are you really human? Blade stared blankly at Lin Tae and asked suspiciously. This kind of strange defense, let alone people, even vampires can't do it. It's really rude of you to speak. Lin Tae slowly took out his bolt gun, and said in his heart, if this unfortunate thing stops him again, then. The loyal bomb will likely be Blade's first Christmas present this year. Sorry. I mean, how did you do it? Blade is not stupid, everyone has drawn their guns, and if he is stupid and nonchalant, God knows if this, big guy, will raise his hand to give him a, pleasure. Well, people are always growing. The more bullets resist, naturally they don't care, and the same goes for grenades. Lin Tae smiled and replied zero. Although this guy looks a bit, cold and cool, the attitude of admitting mistakes is quite good. You're not kidding. Blade looked at Lin Tae with a bewildered look on his face, full of disbelief. He never knew that human beings could also develop, drug resistance, to thermal weapons. At least as far as I'm concerned, that's how it is. 
Lin Tay nodded and said very seriously. Afterwards, Lin Tay stopped chatting with Blade and walked towards the warehouse in the back. Opening the door of the warehouse, Lin Tay glanced around, and soon found an area with five or six ordinary people tied up. After careful observation, Gwen was not found, and Lin Tay frowned instantly. Why didn't you find the person you were looking for? Blade followed Lin Tay closely, also noticed Lin Tay's frown, and asked carefully. A schoolboy, girl. Lin Tay shook his head and replied coldly. Could it be that Dickon Firth was really fooling himself? Lin Tay frowned and went deep into the warehouse. Blade went to the side to release the restraints on the bound hapless fools. Don't come here. Come here again, and I'll kill this little girl. Just when Lin Tay walked to the door of the security room inside the warehouse, a rather, horrified, roar suddenly came from the security room. Boom. Lin Tay kicked the door of the security room with 0.0 feet. Under Lin Tay's angry feet, the metal door turned into an, iron pot, and flew out, embedded in the opposite wall. On the other side, there was a vampire looking at some, chicken, holding Gwen in his arms and holding a pistol in one hand, pressing it tightly against Gwen's temple. Lin Tay squinted and observed Gwen, making sure that the child was fine, just in a coma, and then turned his attention to the vampire. Actually, I suggest you choose a happy ending. I said that, do you understand what to do? Lin Tay walked slowly towards the vampire, not in a hurry, just whispered calmly. You are such a monster, stop me, or I'll really shoot. The vampire roared at Lin Tay with a desperate look on his face. It took 19 minutes and 27 seconds in total. When Lin Tay carried Gwen back to Parker's house, even May Parker's barbecue was not ready. After accepting the sincere thanks from Stacy's family, Lin Tay called SpongeBob SquarePants down. Gwen also woke up at this time. This little girl who was usually smart and unusual, until now, did not know that she had experienced a life and death crisis. The Stacys also wisely chose not to talk about it, just silently watching his daughter and a group of friends play. After a sumptuous dinner, Lin Tay and the others didn't stay any longer and went home directly. However, at the moment at the moment, facing the wind and snow, Phil Coulson, who was standing alone outside the Lin Tay store, was slightly relieved after seeing Lin Tay and his group. Mr. Lin. Phil Coulson hurried forward two steps, wanting to say something to Lin Tay. However, before Phil Coulson could reveal his intentions, Lin Tay waved his hands and said, as the house tidy up. It's sorted out. Phil Coulson replied blankly. Mr. Lin. Okay, you can go. Lin Tay squinted at Phil Coulson and said very, calmly. Phil Coulson looked at Lin Tay's expression and swallowed involuntarily. Mr. Lin, I want to talk to you about something. After a moment of silence, Phil Coulson spoke to Lin Tay after the family and Spongebob and others entered the room. Don't you have a life of your own? Lin Tay raised his eyebrows and asked Phil Coulson curiously. Err, definitely. Phil Coulson looked at Lin Tay with some puzzlement and replied. Aren't you going back to spend Christmas with your family? Lin Tay pouted, looked at Phil Coulson with disgust and asked. I definitely think, but, my job might be more important. Phil Coulson sighed and said helplessly. At the moment, Phil Coulson was full of MMPs. If it wasn't for Lin Tay breaking their director's leg, or if Lin Tay wasn't messing around in a dance hall, maybe he would have had a chance to go home for a festival this year. But, now, don't be ridiculous, so many messes have already happened, how can he go home for the festival? Dude, listen to my advice, the work will never be finished, but the family may really meet once less. Lin Tay looked at Phil Coulson's helpless face, raised his hand and patted Phil Coulson's shoulder, and persuaded him earnestly. I, Phil Coulson really wanted to scold people now, but the habit he trained the day after day made him unable to speak at all. Okay, man, I'm not going to take your boss's breaking into my house privately. Go home early. Hope you can get in on a family dinner. Lin Tay put on a very generous appearance and said to Phil Coulson very kindly. After saying that, Lin Tay didn't wait for Phil Coulson to say anything, and walked into his small shop on his own. Walter Hare. Phil Coulson looked at Lin Tay's smile when he closed the door, and he didn't know what to say. Clang clang. Phil Coulson knocked on Lin Tay's door very hard. Man, do you know what I did today? Lin Tay opened the shop door and asked Phil Coulson with a gloomy look on his face. 
bombed my immediate boss's cap off, and killed a whole bunch of vampires. Phil Coulson looked at Lin Tay seriously and asked back. So you know. Then I'm even more curious. You know this situation, why are you asking for trouble? Lin Tay looked at Phil Coulson in surprise and asked. To be honest, Lin Tay used to think that the so-called shield was just a bunch of happy things that eat royal food but don't do business, but... Now that Phil Coulson knows what he has done in such a short period of time, Lin Tay has a little, appreciation, for their efficiency. Mr. Lin, let's not say anything about our director's legs. After all, in your house, there is nothing wrong with what you do. But, I'm really curious, why are you doing this? Has he offended you? Or maybe you have some, color discrimination habit. Phil Coulson looked at Lin Tay and said helplessly. He definitely didn't want to ask for trouble. However, the leader of his family came to contact Lin Tay after hearing his report. Now that something like this happens, he naturally has an inescapable responsibility. Phil Coulson, I am a pure human supremacist, I do not discriminate against any race. But, your director Nick Fury really scared me, you know what? I haven't turned on the light yet, and he muttered to scare me, what can I do? It was so dark in the room that I couldn't see what he was. A blast of a bomb is already my most restrained behavior, otherwise, I'll just melt my face directly, okay. Lin Tay couldn't help laughing when he heard Phil Coulson's words, and said to Phil Coulson very casually. Okay, Mr. Lin, let's not worry too much about this matter. When Phil Coulson saw Lin Tay like this, he also knew that the director of his family probably would not be able to find him again, so he sighed helplessly. Anything else? Lin Tay frowned, looked at Phil Coulson impatiently and asked. It's like this, Mr. Lin, what you did today in a 310 ballroom named Blood Rose is really too moving. Phil Coulson took a deep breath, tried very hard to suppress the messy emotions in his heart, and said to Lin Tay slowly. Big. I didn't even use any heavy weapons. Lin Tay tilted his head and asked Phil Coulson innocently. To be honest, after hearing you say this, I'm really curious, what is the heavy weapon in your concept? Phil Coulson asked Lin Tay with an ugly face, thinking back to the building that had completely turned into ruins and the scene of the blood floating there. Death strike. Torpedoes. Melt bombs. Or, my magic trick. Lin Tay thought about the things in his warehouse and looked at Phil Coulson seriously. I've never heard of the things you said, but, your actions today have really touched some people, it's a red line, do you understand? Phil Coulson doesn't know how powerful these things Lin Tay said, but there are some things that he must remind Lin Tay of today. Although they can help Lin Tay do some, finishing, work, but once Lin Tay makes too much noise, they can't pay too much price to help Lin Tay cover it up. Some people. Say a name, I promise, they won't have that weird red thread tomorrow. After Lin Tay heard Phil Coulson's words, he frowned and said dangerously. To be honest, this place is no longer the human empire that traversed the galaxy he once served. Just talking about this water blue planet, there are absolutely no number of people who can make Lin Tay jealous. However, some of the people in Phil Coulson's mouth are definitely not within this slap. Really in a hurry. Lin Tay really doesn't need much effort to make those guys who, misunderstood, him into the past. Moreover, it's not that Lin Tay has a big heart, even if the horses and horses are ready to fight. Lin Tay didn't feel that the resources in his hand could not afford this battle with today's high-level human beings. Not to mention that on this planet today, the real high-end combat power, there are a few who stand in the camp of those so-called upper-class people. Even if there are half of the guys who choose, maintaining stability, and want to fight against Lin Tay, Lin Tay's Hulk, Spongebob Squarepants, and Gary are already the ceiling of this planet's, regular strength. Seriously, Lin Tay is really not afraid of someone embarrassing him now. Isn't there a saying? As long as you solve those guys who like to find trouble, there will be no trouble. Mr. Lin, don't say that. You live in this society after all. In the end, we have to do things according to the current rules. I know, you have an indestructible body. But what if those people do something to your friends, family? Phil Coulson heard Lin Tay's words, his face changed again, and he quickly persuaded. Although the words seemed a little, real, Lin Tay didn't feel much disgust. It can be seen that Phil Coulson is indeed a little thoughtful. 
After all, in his opinion, Lin Tae is just a strong man with extraordinary abilities, not a politician who can change the structure of today's society. However, Phil Coulson is also well aware that there are some things in this world that really don't change everything by force alone. Although it can be seen that you are really thinking of me, Phil Coulson, your theory is very real and practical in the general world. Yes, in the world we live in. Trust me, Phil Coulson, you just haven't seen real power. Lin Tae squinted at Phil Coulson and replied very seriously. To be honest, Lin Tae rarely faces these, official, people with such a serious look. Especially for people in secret departments like Phil Coulson, Lin Tae never bothered to tell them the truth. Mr. Lin. Dot you listen to me. Phil Coulson couldn't help but get a little anxious when he saw Lin Tae's lackluster and confident look. He knew very well that in this world, there were some people who didn't follow the rules at all. But again, they work for those rule makers. So they can act recklessly, or rather, recklessly. But people like Lin Tae who are, running single gang, even if their strength is good, they are difficult to fight against. At least, in Phil Coulson's mind, things, how things should be. Those people, who can't deal with Lin Tae, can naturally deal with his friends, relatives, or whatever else he is. Even now, Phil Coulson has no information on Lin Tae's immediate family. However, as long as people are born in this world, they will always leave some traces, right? If one day, Lin Tae will be targeted by some people with some bad means. In the event of an accident, Phil Coulson really doesn't want to see an indestructible extraordinary person fighting them to the death. Okay Phil Coulson, I appreciate everything you said and did. But, these are really not a problem for me. As for, if you don't quite understand why I am so confident, then, don't worry, wait patiently, time will tell. After Lin Tae finished speaking, he patted Phil Coulson on the shoulder and gave Phil Coulson a sincere smile. After saying that, Lin Tae didn't wait for Phil Coulson to say anything, and turned around and entered his own shop. Click. After the door was locked, Phil Coulson came back to his senses, looking at Lin Tae's relaxed and contented look through the glass window, Phil Coulson sighed helplessly, and walked across the street full of worry. What Lin Tae has done today has already spread to the ears of some, concerned people. Phil Coulson, as the official and the first contact person with Lin Tae, naturally did not want Lin Tae to follow them on two opposite paths. After all, Lin Tae's strength did give him an intuitive understanding of the so-called, powerful. Blood Rose, a vampire dance hall on record. If given to them, at least they have to have a sufficiently complete plan and considerable firepower to deal with those vampires. But what about Lin Tae? Single-handedly, alone, carrying two strange pistols, he just swaggered in. It may have been more than 10 minutes before and after, and in the entire dance hall, a complete vampire could not be found. And, most importantly, Lin Tae could even save a little girl in that situation. If this kind of person really becomes an enemy, Phil Coulson really has a hard time imagining how he can be subdued without using some, special means. I'm sorry, sir, my mission failed. That's right, Mr. Lin didn't even give me a chance to mention that. What do you think? Dot how about we assign him the status of an external agent? We've got to help him with the finishing touches now anyway. Also, as far as I can see, Mr. Lin is not good enough, a person who likes to look for things. Walking to the side of the street and sitting on a bench beside him, Phil Coulson took out his mobile phone and called his leader. Although what Lin Tae did today was a bit loud and excessive, there was a reason for this. What's more, he's always been pretty safe when he's not provoked by these idiots. After all, Phil Coulson and the others have been observing Lin Tae for more than two months, and some basic situations have been determined. So, Phil Coulson thought, if that's the case, it's better to assign Lin Tae an identity within them. Let some guys who want to play off the topic dispel some bad ideas. Okay, sir, this is just my personal suggestion. However, Fury on the other end of the phone did not seem to agree with Phil Coulson's proposal. Phil Coulson hung up the phone with a distressed face, looked up at the sky, and was silent for a long time. Early the next morning, after a night of heirloom exchange work, Lin Tae glanced at Gary, who was still lazy under the covers, and felt really good. To be honest, Lin Tae is not surprised by the current situation. 
After all, Gary's obsession with him was already well known. Moreover, this silly girl didn't seem to have been here for a long time, and she learned about those things of love and love from some movies, TV dramas, novels and the like. Such a naive and simple little girl, to meet such an, attractive, guy as Lin Tay, the final result is naturally, free. Yo, morning, Spongebob Squarepants. After packing up, Lin Tay came downstairs. At the moment, Spongebob has already started dazed by the counter. Oh, Boss Lin is early. By the way, can we go and play with Peter and the others today? The relationship between Spongebob Squarepants and those children is now progressing rapidly, almost to the point where they want to get together when they have a little spare time. Lin Tay didn't mind this much, after all, an intelligent creature really can't be too, alone. Definitely, but, speaking of 310 coming back, Banner may not necessarily release Hulk today. Lin Tay nodded to Spongebob Squarepants and replied with a smile, but think about the situation yesterday. I don't think Banner would be very happy to release Hulk today. That's like yesterday, make something, a little accident. Spongebob Squarepants remembered their operation yesterday, and looked at Lin Tay for advice with a smirk. Actually, Banner was thinking about getting his own, girlfriend, yesterday. After all, there are some things he hasn't explained to Betty yet. But, Spongebob Squarepants and an unscrupulous boss caused some minor accidents the first time Banner went out. Putting Banner in a coma, Hulk naturally came out to celebrate the festival. I knew it was your shit yesterday. Before Lin Tay could speak, Banner, who had just come downstairs, stared at Lin Tay angrily at Spongebob Squarepants and yelled at Allie. Calm down, Banner. Yes yes yes. You've had more than 20 Christmases, think about Hulk, this is the first Christmas in his life. Triple A, yes yes yes. Banner took a deep breath as he watched Lin Tay and Spongebob behave in unison. I've called Betty. Couldn't you have informed me sooner? Am I, in your eyes, a completely unreasonable and extremely selfish guy? Seeing Banner's indignant look, Linte and Spongebob looked at each other and nodded at the same time. Is not it. The two said in unison. I. Upon hearing this, Banner looked at the serious and puzzled expressions of these two goods, and he couldn't stand it for a while. Okay, Banner, go and find Betty today, don't worry, she shouldn't mind your pigeons yesterday. Definitely, if she minds, you can say that my unscrupulous boss made you work overtime, isn't it over? Lin Tay stepped forward, patted Banner on the shoulder, and persuaded very seriously. What a big deal, man, be tough, how can you always let a woman run by the nose? By the way, Spongebob Squarepants, go to the warehouse to get a few cans of Aunt Cow, Gary will probably be very hungry when she wakes up, get ready early. Lin Tay seemed to have thought of something, grinned, and instructed Spongebob Squarepants beside him. By the way, Boss Lin, can we officially call Mrs. Gialli now? Spongebob nodded, and immediately thought of something, looked at Lin Tay with a, bad smile, and asked. Well, Banner on the side was even more unhappy when he heard Spongebob talking about this, his head tilted, and he looked at the ceiling agreed. As the saying goes, a full man doesn't know if a hungry man is hungry, Banner felt that Lin Tay was completely standing and talking without backache. He has solved the, subsistence, problem, but what about himself? What about his Betty? Thinking about this situation, Banner felt that his boss was really hateful. No. By the way, you seem to understand this picture completely. Lin Tay frowned when he heard Spongebob's words, and murmured suspiciously. Look at your high-spirited look, what more do you need to say? Banner looked at Lin Tay's suspicious look, pouted, and muttered in disgust. Big baby. Just when Lin Tay clenched his fists and prepared to clean up Spongebob Squarepants, Gary also got up. Going downstairs, Gary threw herself directly into Lin Tay's arms. I still want to eat. Gary whispered to Lin Tay. Wait until Spongebob gets you some canned ant cow. Lin Tay rubbed Golly's long hair and replied seriously. I want to eat that. Gary shook her head and whispered with a rather aggrieved expression. Tisk. I said you too, can you not be so tired of being in the public eye? There are still two single dogs in front of you. Can you pay attention to the feelings of a single dog? Banner looked at the couple who were so tired of making others, want to vomit, in front of him, and shouted with grief and indignation. No. 
we're tired of ours, what's wrong with you? Lin Tay glared at Banner and said angrily. Otherwise, what to say about this person, if the thoughts in his heart are not clean, then there is no clean thing in his eyes. Cut. I used to have Betty's. Banner immediately froze when he heard Lin Tay's words. What's going on? It's been a while since I exchanged heirlooms with my girlfriend, and I don't even understand the basics. At the moment, Banner even felt that Lin Tay was mocking him and showing off to his single dog. Crack. Lin Tay raised his hand and snapped his fingers. A blue light psionic light ball floated quietly on his fingers. When Jia Li saw the blue light ball on Lin Tay's finger, her eyes instantly lit up, and when she came up, she swallowed the psionic light ball directly. I know you've been working hard for a while, but ah, uh, Banner, don't think about those things all day long. It's easy to cause problems. Definitely, you can also try to chat with Hulk, maybe, this time you go to Betty, you don't have to talk about breaking up. Lin Tay raised his brows and looked at Banner with a hint of sympathy. His words were also full of, worry. I'm going out for a walk. By the way, I won't be back for lunch today. It seemed that Lin Tay was, challenged, by him, and Banner snorted with embarrassment, then ran out of his own accord. Hell's Kitchen, in the cafe where Lin Tay last chatted with the Ancient One magician. Your leg, recovered very quickly. Lin Tay squinted, looked at Nick Fury in front of him and said something. The opposite Nick Fury sank his face, stared at Lin Tay very seriously, and said after being silent for a long time. Mr. Lin, you seem to know a lot. What about things you shouldn't know? Shouldn't it be? There's something wrong with this word. Is there anything in this world that I shouldn't know? If there is, Director Nick Fury can tell me about it, and I think maybe I'll pay more attention next time. After Lin Tay heard Fury's words, he chuckled and said contemptuously. For example, I've always been curious, how did you know my name? Fury was silent for two seconds, then asked Lin Tay. Phil Coulson had already reported this to Fury when he first approached Lin Tay. However, Fury didn't pay much attention to this issue at the time, and his main focus was on Lin Tay's personal ability and Hulk. Didn't Phil Coulson tell you I'm a magician? Hearing this, Lin Tay couldn't help but smile even more, and asked Fury in a playful tone. Magician. Mr. Lin, I remember that the world we live in is a real world, right? Is such a meaningless answer really necessary? Fury opposite Lin Tay is clearly not an occult lover. Zero. For Lin Tay's almost nonsense answer, he put on a sneering look. Director Nick Fury, can you tell me, are you the real you now? Lin Tay didn't care about Fury's attitude, just looked at Fury curiously, as if he wanted to see through the real body of this shield. It stands to reason that at this time, Nick Fury has reached a cooperation agreement with those scrolls. There are times when people see Nick Fury who may not be him at all. Lin Tay doesn't have any alien creature, detectors, so naturally he can't tell what the situation of Nick Fury is in front of him. Mr. Lin, is your way of thinking always so detached? Since you know my identity and what I look like, you should naturally know, am I me? When Fury heard Lin Tay's words, his one eye shrank suddenly, but he quickly adjusted his mind and put on an expression of, are you making trouble here? However, the change at that moment had completely fallen into Lin Tay's eyes. Okay Nick Fury, I don't know if you're sitting across from me now, or if you're a scroll in disguise. But, if I'm not mistaken, whatever the possibility is, the existence that the name Nick Fury stands for should be able to hear me right now. Whoa. Nick Fury, opposite Lin Tay took out his small pistol and aimed it at Lin Tay as soon as Lin Tay's voice fell. Let alone Lin Tay, an unrelated person, even his old boss and his colleagues don't know this secret. Fury knew very well what would happen to him once the issue was exposed. An organization dedicated to protecting the safety of Blue Star, its leader turned out to be a guy who colluded with aliens. Once this situation is known to some people, let alone Brother Shield, it will be a question whether he can live the rest of his life in peace. Looking at your appearance, I think, you should not be the real Fury. Lin Tae looked at the weapon in the opponent's hand, shook his head, and said contemptuously. To be honest, if it is true fury, Lin Tay feels that with the psychological quality of that old yin ratio, it should not be so easily aroused. Calm down, boy, you should be in direct contact with fury now. 
Lin Tae raised his hand and waved to the, Nick Fury, in front of him, and asked with a relaxed face. After being silent for a few seconds, the fake on the opposite side seemed to have also received an order, calmed down a little, withdrew the weapon, and sat down again. Mr. Lin, don't you know that sometimes people know too much and it's very unsafe? Although the fake fury has calmed down a lot, Lin Tae's alertness has not changed. At least, his hand on the holster has proved everything. To tell the truth, I don't have a good opinion of you alien. If you can, tell Fury, I would prefer him to talk to me in person. Lin Tae didn't answer the other party's question, just said this indifferently, and then, without waiting for the other party to respond, Lin Tae got up and left the cafe. After Lin Tae left, the fake Fury's face became more gloomy. At the same time, Fury, the real thing on the starship far away on the back of the moon, was not in a very happy mood. After all, his current, partner, was on the side, and everyone heard Lin Tae's words just now. The target you chose seems very unfriendly to us. The current leader of the Skrulls, Talos, tilted his head and looked at Fury beside him, and said very playfully. Everyone thinks differently, Taros, you should understand that not everyone in this world likes to help those in need. Fury sighed and looked back at Talos. Lin Tae bluntly expressed his rejection of aliens, which Fury did not expect. After all, although he was skeptical about Lin Tae's knowledge of some secret situations before, he had not yet imagined the extent to which Lin Tae could know so many things. On the other side, after Lin Tae left there, he went to Kim Bingna. Listen to Spongebob, have you found your other half? As soon as he came to Jin Bing's office, Jin Bing looked at Lin Tae with a smile and asked. By the way, how do I feel about me, it will take less than three days for everyone who knows me to know. Lin Tae muttered angrily. Spongebob's sense of confidentiality still needs to be strengthened. However, having said that, that guy didn't specifically call you to talk about it. Lin Tae thought for a while, and asked Jin a little worriedly. If it really is what he thinks, then now. The few people in his phone book probably already knew about it. That's not true, it's just that I called your store today. Jin said with a wave of his hand. What's wrong? Lin Tae asked curiously. The cursed gold coin you mentioned earlier. I have already picked the right person. Jin replied directly to Zero. In the dilapidated factory building, the younger brother, who was carefully selected with a hundred or so gold, was waiting patiently with an extremely uneasy mood at the moment. Not long ago, these people were told by Jin and they would become real undead warriors. Although Jin never talked to them about the details, they all knew that everything had a price. They are not those street gangsters, they are smart and powerful, and they are all players in Hell's Kitchen and among Jin Bing's men. Immortality, for them, undoubtedly has huge amounts of attraction. But, what is behind the immortality? Everyone present had their own guesses in their hearts. Is it to sell the soul, or to sign the devil's contract? They don't know, but each of the guys who can appear here is a decision made after careful consideration of, 310. That's what you picked out, warrior. Just as everyone was waiting anxiously, suddenly, a very magnetic voice broke the silence in the workshop. When everyone heard the news, they saw Jin Bing and an unusually handsome young man in his early twenties walked into the factory building. Warriors. Maybe almost, but they're already the best I have. Jin Bian looked at Lin Tae's slightly disgusted expression, and said very sincerely. That's it, so it is. By the way, have you talked to them about the price? Lin Tae nodded and didn't bother too much. Not yet, but I believe that what I paid should make them accept any price. Jin Bian shook his head and said sincerely. Speaking of which, let alone these people in the factory, even Jin Bing was full of doubts when Lin Tae made that, suggestion. If Lin Tae hadn't personally expelled a demon in front of him before, he wouldn't really believe that there is anything in this world that can turn people into so-called, undead warriors. Bang dang, Lin Tae suddenly threw out a quaint treasure chest. Under the watchful eyes of Jin Bing and his younger brothers, Lin Tae opened the treasure chest. The cursed gold shining with dazzling golden light appeared in the eyes of everyone. Come, come, one for each person. If you run out of gold coins in the box, you won't be dead men anymore. Lin Tae raised his hand to call Roar to the crowd. All the younger brothers were a little stunned, listening to Lin Tae's, 
plain, shouting, they were not sure what the situation was for a while. In the hearts of these little brothers, this event may be a major event that will change their life, even if there is no devil sacrifice, there must be some other ceremony. How could it be possible to become an undead warrior, with such a young man carrying a box of gold and letting them come over to collect the money? What are you waiting for? Line up to get it. Seeing that Jin Bing and all the younger brothers stayed in a daze, without any movement for a long time, Lin Tae couldn't help but grow impatient. Seeing Lin Tae's expression, Jin Bing became a little impatient, and quickly opened his mouth and shouted at his younger brothers. Hurry up. After Jin made a speech, the group of younger brothers recovered from the worrying about gains and losses, and they stepped forward to take their gold coins from the box. After the box was empty, it was too late for everyone to feel their own changes. Suddenly, someone let out a terrified roar. Immediately afterwards, people in the crowd constantly shouted. The psychological quality of these people needs to be improved. Looking at the, skull soldiers, screaming in horror, Lin Tae said to Jin with a strange expression. If I hadn't seen your ability long ago, seeing this scene, I wouldn't be much better than them. Kim and at the moment are also not at all calm inside. After all, looking at it, a bunch of big living people instantly turned into living corpses, and it is estimated that most normal people would be a little scared for a while. Jin Bian has only seen the, devil, and seen magic, and Lin Tae has reminded him before, so he can be calm on the surface as he is now. Want to try? Lin Tae didn't care about Jin Ning's mood at the moment, looked at Jin Ning with a little curiosity and asked. After Jin Bian heard Lin Tae's words, he looked at the, skull boys, who were still a little flustered, and nodded to Lin Tae. Boom. Jin Bing nodded, Lin Tae raised the bolt gun that he didn't know when, raised his hand and shot at the crowd. No psionic bombs were used, just normal regular bombs zero. The explosion instantly blasted several skeleton soldiers into scum. However, what is surprising is that the skeleton soldiers that were broken into slag did not completely fall silent, but instead seemed to be attracted by some unknown force and gradually moved closer. It didn't take a few seconds for the skeleton soldiers to regroup. It's amazing, but, have they always been like this? Jin Bian looked at the fast recovering skeleton soldiers and sighed sincerely, but for their current image. Actually, this thing should have turned into a skeleton after seeing the moonlight. Lin Tae was stunned when he heard Jin Bing's question. It was only then that he realized that in the Pirates of the Caribbean, those crew members on the Black Pearl seemed to be turned into skeletons by the moonlight. But, try going outside to soak up the sun. Lin Tae thought for a while, and suggested to Jin who was beside him. Your baby, you have the final say. Jin Bian knows what, he is still full of confusion. He has never seen the so-called, cursed gold coins, like Lin Tae, let alone any disposal measures. Speaking of which, can they understand human language now? Jin Bian asked Lin Tae somewhat uncertainly, looking at the skeleton soldiers on the opposite side who had begun to dismantle each other's arms and legs, as if they were playing very fast. There should be no problem with 0.0. You try it. Lin Tae shrugged and said to Jin casually. Jin Bian sighed, stepped forward, raised his hand and fired a shot, trying to attract the attention of these skeleton brothers. However, it was obvious that the skeleton boys, who had been blasted by Lin Tae's bolt gun just now, didn't seem to hear Jin Bing's gunshot at all, and were still trying all kinds of novel operations there. Stop playing for me. Seeing that the gunfire was useless, Jin Bing frowned, took a deep breath, and let out a roar of lions. Gaba Gaba. I don't know if it's because Jin Bing's voice is loud enough, or it's because these skeleton boys have an innate, obedience, buff to Jin Bing. All in all, after Jin Bing shouted such a voice, these skeleton boys finally stopped. They are like idiots. Similar game. The sun at noon was very dazzling, and when a group of small skeletons walked out of the workshop nervously, their bodies instantly returned to their original appearance. Especially the guys who were smashed to pieces by Lin Tae before, are now even more nervous and carefully examining their bodies, for fear that when they were reorganized just now, they might have lost some parts. It seems to be all right. Lin Tae looked at the Jinbian brothers who had returned to their original state, and nodded with satisfaction. When it comes to rotation, just let them put the blood-stained gold coins back into this box, right? 
Jin and asked Lin Tae while holding the box containing the cursed gold coins. Lin Tae frowned, thought for a moment and said, it should be. After all, I just got this thing, and it is slightly different from what I remember. You can try it slowly. What's your plan next? Jin nodded and asked curiously. Having harvested a team of undead warriors has already made Jin Bing very satisfied. As for the follow-up issues, it will be considered later. Anyway, according to Lin Tae's explanation, as long as you master this box, you will be able to control these guys from the bone. They wanted to recover, and it was only possible with his consent. What's more, when these people were picked out before, Jin Bing had already paid according to the dedicated money. What else can you plan? Go home, eat, and then play cards, that's all. Lin Tae spread his hands and replied casually. In a short time, Fury's side shouldn't be annoying anymore. Hydra is doing a good business with Banner now, so naturally there is no need to worry about the problems there. As for General Ross, Lin Tae is even less worried. Anyway, there will be no trouble with someone blocking the front. By the way, the demon you defeated with me last time. Jin hearing Lin Tae's answer, he was silent for two seconds, then seemed to remember something, looked at Lin Tae with a hesitation and asked. What? Another demon came to you recently. Make an appointment with it and I'll deal with it. Lin Tae likes to deal with demons. It has nothing to do with human feelings, just a simple hobby. No, I just wanted to ask who the devil is, who? Jin Bing shook his head. Recently, his sight has been very quiet. Except for disputes between some small gangs, there are basically no major events. Mephista's duplication, why are you asking this? It's not because of another bad idea. Fatty, I have to tell you in advance that I will never be soft-hearted towards demons and their servants. Jin Bing's question made Lin Tae wonder if this guy couldn't hold back his thoughts of wanting to resurrect his son, and wanted to find a demon for the whole thing. Mephisto. That hell monarch. Jin Bing was stunned for a moment, and asked worriedly. To be honest, Jin didn't really want to ask the demon to help. Again, he just wanted to know what kind of player the demon was before. Is it a threat to the safety of his son's soul? However, after hearing Lin Tae's answer, the fear in Jin Bing's heart became more serious. The monarch of hell. With such an existence, it shouldn't be too difficult to find a soul in hell, right? Just in case. What? Lin Tae looked at Jin Ning's fearful and tangled expression, and couldn't help but doubt more. Richard's soul. Jin Bian asked very hesitation. Not to mention this person, in fact, it is almost the same. Even Jin Bing, who is known as the Emperor of the Underworld, will have such a, weak, side when facing the issue of his own son. Don't worry, that duplication was handled cleanly, and Mephisto will definitely not know about you here. Lin Tae was a little relieved when he heard Jin Bing's words. It seemed that at least he didn't have to kill this qualified meal ticket. There are many duplications placed in Mephista's material universe, and it is impossible for him to pay attention to every duplication at all times. Only after the duplication is destroyed in seconds, will Mephisto observe the situation here along the imprint of the soul left by the demise of the duplication. Lin Tae killed the duplication so quickly, and Mephisto had no chance to find out about the specific situation with his duplication. At most, he remembered Lin Tae, the mortal, who eliminated his duplication. There is a large group of magicians in this world who are maintaining the dimensional barrier, and even if there is Mephisto, it is impossible to observe the situation here in real time. Seeing that Jin Bing was still worried, Lin Tae shook his head, patted Jin Bing's shoulder and comforted him. After tangled again and again, Jin Bian finally sighed, temporarily letting go of those worries in his heart. Come to my place for lunch. I recently hired a few Chinese chefs. After Jin Bian recovered, he warmly invited Lin Tae. Hearing this, Lin Tae thought for a moment, and there was nothing to do anyway, which saved the house fire, so he nodded to Jin and responded. Afterwards, Jin and arranged for Bullseye to lead the undead warriors to evacuate first, while he and Lin Tae walked slowly towards his building. Da da da. As soon as he returned to the gang distribution center of Hell's Kitchen, Lin Tae could feel the lively scene of the Chinese New Year in a certain country. Small smashing cannons smashed each other everywhere, and the crackling gunfire continued. I don't know why this place has this kind of entertainment, 
every day and why there are so many people. It's really lively. Looking at the scene not far away in groups of three or five, fighting constantly, Linte 323 couldn't help sighing. That's why there is an urgent need for someone who can really make the rules. Jin Bing looked at the battle of the little crotches, shook his head, and said helplessly. Now he has dealt with most of the gangs here, but there are still many whimsical guys trying to make a way out. However, in fact, most of these people can't survive a few gang disputes. Then you need to work hard. After bypassing the battlefield of those gangsters, Linte chuckled to Jin and said. In fact, sometimes, in some circumstances, it is true that common sense cannot be used as a standard of conduct. Just like this hell's kitchen, it is absolutely impossible to settle down here without solving the livelihood problems of the vast majority of people. Gold can't do it, and neither can the Federation. It is true that the, vigilantes, like Lawyer Ma are really trying to change this place, but their petty troubles are really useless. Not to mention anything else, if Lawyer Ma really killed Jin Bing now. There will be no villains in Hell's Kitchen. Obviously impossible, Lawyer Ma is not a god, and he can't send all the, bad guys, to prison. It can't solve this breeding ground for evil, and killing some gang leaders can only destroy the only, rules, here. Come, come, come and give me a fairy breath. On the top floor of the Fisker building, after Lin Tae's group had just finished a rather exquisite meal in Jin, Lin Tae remembered that he hadn't drawn his cards today. These days, let's draw cards, he really has to teach a metaphysics, if you are honest and draw cards at home, maybe it is some kind of hot melt bomb, canned ant cow. Sometimes you can even get some useless stuff like, colorful t-shirts. So, Lin Tae thought about it, then went straight to the rooftop sat on the side of the building, and opened his own card draw interface. Boss, even if you can't draw anything useful, don't jump off the building. Banner looked at Lin Tae's, if you don't succeed, you become a benevolent, look, and couldn't help but persuade him a little bit. He wasn't worried about the personal safety of his boss, but he was more worried about what would happen if Lin Tae jumped off and smashed others. Although their small shop now has some revenue, $100 million, but this is not a customer. If one day Jinping suddenly disappeared, they would have to go back to the time when they were sitting and eating. Coupled with the fact that their own boss was so able to make a lucky audience member without killing them, it would reduce their poor savings by a lot. Don't worry, you won't die. Lin Tae looked at Banner's worried look, and felt very relieved, and said very kindly. No. Boss, you will lose money if you hit dead man, you know. When Banner heard Lin Tae's words, he couldn't help rolling his eyes and muttered to Lin Tae angrily. Shout. Lin Tae ignored Banner and said again, Guys, I need your sincere blessings. The emperor is on. Bless me with drawing a useful card. Afterwards, Lin Tae picked the card on the far right under the curious eyes of everyone. Covering his hands, Lin Tae closed his eyes. After a delay of two or three seconds, Lin Tae closed his eyes and slowly opened his hands. Golden baby. Glittering. Hearing everyone's surprise, Lin Tae seemed to feel a magical power filling his body. This is the first time I have drawn a gold card, thank you for your blessings. Lin Tae, who opened his eyes, didn't rush to see what he had drawn, so he first thanked everyone sincerely. The God of Warp Communicator. A tool for connecting with a warp god you identify with. When Lin Tae looked down at the card in his hand, he was stunned. The things painted on the card were indeed golden, but. Card it is not ah. This crap is useful, Lin Tae didn't know what to say when he saw the short one-line description of this thing. Thinking back to that time, how much did Boss Talon pay to resist chaos? How many sacrifices of his comrades he had witnessed? Connecting with those warp. Boss Terran isn't a chaos believer. Okay, everyone, I want to be alone. After breaking open the card in his hand, a local tyrant gold old computer appeared in Lin Tae's hand. Seeing that Lin Tae was so lost, everyone had to listen to Lin Tae and leave temporarily. After everyone left, Lin Tae looked at the local tyrant Jin Lao machine in his hand and fell into contemplation. Hey hey hey, is the emperor here? Can I speak? I'm Creed 209 Siege Regiment Zhengwei, Lin Tae, can you hear me? After a long silence, Lin Tae finally made a decision against his ancestors and called the emperor. However, the communicator did not respond. 
This makes Lin Tae extremely disappointed. E.H. This old gangster seems to be completely finished. Presumptuous. I'm such a big emperor that you'll be finished after you say it. Just when Lin Tae was extremely lost, the communicator suddenly lit up, and a magnetic and incomparably sacred voice reached Lin Tae's ears through the communicator. What the hell? This is the emperor from the urban rural border. How can you say something like leak? Lin Tae was taken aback by the sudden emperor's voice, and he almost collapsed without thinking. Cough cough. Hey, hey, is that the emperor? Someone was playing with my phone just now, and you didn't hear me. Lin Tae coughed twice, lowered his throat as much as possible, and acted, different. In any case, it is a good thing to be able to contact the emperor of God. Definitely, for now. Lin Tae is not yet sure whether he is the real emperor or not. Child, report your position, your great emperor father will bring you the most sincere, best wishes. The next second, Lin Tae heard the gnashing of teeth from the communicator. Lin Tae's expression was a little embarrassed when he heard the words, so he didn't answer, and hung up the phone directly, thinking in his heart that the emperor was really going crazy. Sitting on the golden throne for more than 10,000 years, he has endured the, backquote, devout ravings of hundreds of millions of souls in the empire for more than 10,000 years. The mental torture he suffered could drive even a stone crazy, but he persevered, because even if he was a vegetable, he was the most powerful vegetable in the universe. To tell the truth, most people like Lin Tae have no sense of belonging to the world they live in. It is also difficult to identify and worship some special existence. However, Lin Tae fought in the last world for nearly a hundred years and heard and knew everything about the emperor. It made him deeply realize how great this human emperor who burned himself for the sake of mankind and illuminated all things was. Maybe he is not very good at being a person, being a father, etc., but he is really working hard for the sublimation of the entire human population. Therefore, Lin Tae still recognizes the emperor quite a bit. Definitely, he has never chatted with the emperor before, and he doesn't know, is the emperor always so out of tune? Or is it really crazy because the golden toilet has been sitting for too long? This emperor is not quite right. Lin Tae lowered his head, looked at the communicator in his hand, and muttered to Dao Gong with a weird expression. Drip drip drip. The next moment, the communicator rang, and the emperor initiated a communication application. Lin Tae looked at the communicator in his hand, a little hesitation. This old cook. Wouldn't you follow the signal to find it? After thinking for a while, Lin Tae decided not to answer the emperor's phone call for the time being. Put away the golden communicator, took out his mobile phone, and called Ancient One Magician. After a while, the Ancient One Magician opened the door. Are you sure, you are in touch with the gods of your last world? As soon as they met, Ancient One Magician looked at Lin Tae seriously and asked. Katmandu, Kamar Taj. The digital magician, under the arrangement of the Ancient One Magician, propped up a rather huge simplified dimension magic circle. Under the watchful eyes of the crowd, Lin Tae stood at the center of the magic circle with the meteorite meteor knife he had just drawn this morning in one hand and the golden warp god communicator in the other. Can we start? To be honest, I'm really nervous about what you guys are doing like this. Lin Tae glanced at the surrounding magicians, and asked the ancient one magician with some pain. Yesterday Lin Tae got the local tyrant gold old machine, and after contacting the emperor, he immediately contacted the ancient one magician. After a whole day of preparation, Lin Tae had the opportunity to have a harmonious and friendly, friendly exchange, with the emperor again. Let's start. Ancient One Magician took a deep breath and nodded seriously to Lin Tae. Although she already knew from Lin Tae how great the so-called emperor was. However, that person's behavior was quite, unreasonable. If the other party really has the opportunity to come to this world in a spiritual state, then the ancient magician felt that the emperor who was dedicated to leading mankind to a higher level would definitely not be, indifferent, to this world. Hey, hey, the emperor is not here, I'm Lin Tae. After hearing ancient one magician's words, Lin Tae didn't have any hesitation. He directly pressed the call button on the communicator and called the emperor. You little brat finally wrote to my old man. Tell me, where did you go? The whole galaxy can't find your beacon. As soon as the phone was connected, the emperor who came out of the urban rural junction immediately spoke up. 
Emperor, your old man has been sitting on the toilet for too long, is your brain not good? I've been wandering around in other worlds, and it's no wonder you can find me in the Milky Way over there. With a group of free, thugs, present, Lin Tei spoke a lot harder, and did not give the emperor any face. You little gadget, aren't you going to come back and hang out? Dare to talk to your emperor like this. The emperor seemed to cooperate quite well with Lin Tei, the words were full of natural gas, and it was like a picture that would explode. Hey, I want to go back, I don't have a return ticket, so I have no idea. Lin Tei replied to the emperor with a smile. Tell me, child, are there any human beings in the world you live in? The emperor was silent for a long time, and his tone suddenly became much more serious. Definitely, why am I staying here otherwise? Lin Tei frowned and became a little more serious. So, my child, have you conquered your world? The emperor asked again. But as soon as these words came out, the surrounding magicians became even more nervous. Most of them also got some information from the ancient one magician. This, otherworld, human god seems to have a considerable obsession with the unification of the world by human beings. Now when they hear what they say, they are a little more wary of Lin Tei. I said, Emperor, don't be embarrassing, I'm standing next to this super magician. When you say this, people misunderstand me, and they don't kill me directly. Lin Tei rolled his eyes and complained to the communicator helplessly. You cast chaos. As soon as he heard magician, the emperor was instantly furious, and his words were full of anger. It seems that he was pitted by brother Xiao Ma back then, and it really gave him a lot of influence. There is no warp here, so it's normal for the locals to learn some magic. Lin Tei replied embarrassedly when he heard the words full of anger from the emperor. How could it be possible, even though boss Talon didn't have the ambitions of the emperor, but he was not a ghost or a ghost. It was absolutely impossible. Triple A, let's talk about it. The emperor, if you have time to pay more attention to the current situation of the empire, you will understand how loyal the team I served was. Lin Tei replied without waiting for the emperor to speak again. In other words, Lin Tei doesn't know how much effort this old man who has been sitting on the golden toilet has had for 10,000 years to observe the material universe. However, it was obvious that the emperor had not paid any attention to him during the hundred years he had been there. Well, Krieg, you know. Your emperor isn't so confused yet. The emperor seemed to be a little offended by Lin Tei's words, and resumed his not-so-serious tone again. In the world you live in, have humans fully adapted to psionic energy? I can't tell you, most of the people here use power from other dimensions. It seems that I am the only one here. At least I haven't found any native Shinicists yet. Lin Tei thought for a while and replied honestly. Even in the Warhammer world, his own psychic power has no connection with the warp over there. It is really hard to say what the situation is in this world. Okay. My emperor, let's stop talking about these meaningless nonsense, this time I contact you mainly to see if you can affect the world I live in. There was no response from the communicator for a long time, and Lin Tei didn't bother to wait, so he spoke directly. You little brat, the emperor of your family can't even find you anywhere, what an influence. The next second, the emperor opened the spray channel directly. Tisk. It seems that our emperor can only be used as a chat to relieve boredom. Ancient one magician, what do you think? Lin Tei pouted and muttered very boringly. Before the ancient one magician took over, the emperor on the other side had already started to rant about his, standard C language. The coordinates over there cannot be determined. It seems that the world is still far away from us. Ancient one magician listened to the emperor's, standard C language, and replied to Lin Tei with a strange expression. According to Lin Tei's description, their emperor was a rather great and wise leader, however. Are you sure, this is the guy you once admired? After two seconds of silence, Ancient One Magician looked at Lin Tei in confusion and asked. I haven't worshipped him, but I just recognize his mind and ability. Lin pouted and retorted very seriously. He wouldn't admit that he worshipped such a 10,000-year-old mummy. Even what he has done is indeed worthy of respect. Boss Talon is a true loyalist who believes in the truth of the empire. Little nosed brat is always in touch, your emperor still has serious business to do, so hang up first. Okay, you hang up. Lin Tei replied with a smile, and the emperor on the opposite side hung up the phone. 
Although the emperor's summoning was a complete failure, it wasn't a bad thing for the ancient one magician and the others. After all, the emperor's character is, indeed, a little stubborn. Moreover, if the emperor really came, Lin Tae really couldn't say which camp he should stand in. Definitely, these past are gone, the emperor didn't call over, and it's not too important. Right now, Lin Tae has another thing to do. Modu, open the door for me, it's where we camped last time. Lin Tae held the streaming star meteorite knife he had just drawn today, and casually ordered Mordo. Modu sighed and opened a portal to Lin Tae helplessly. Would the ancient one magician come and see? When Lin Tae stepped into the portal, he stopped and turned to look at the ancient one magician behind him. Just go play with Mordo, I have something to do as an old man. Ancient one magician shook his head and refused. Lin Tae drew the card today, but it was drawn in Kamar Taj. Although the ancient one magician did not know what the long sword that Lin Tae had drawn was used for, the ancient one magician, as a past person, still felt that he did not need to be involved in this. Son. Teacher. Moro looked at his teacher with a bewildered expression. To be honest, Modu never thought that his teacher would be so decisive in selling what he sold. Who really wants to accompany Lin Tae to experiment with his weird, props? Seeing something new is good for you. Ancient one magician stepped forward, patted Mordo on the shoulder, and said to Mordo with a smile. Okay, Mordo, which of these old gangsters is not a master who is ruined in the flesh, don't talk nonsense with them. Lin Tae pulled Mordo over and dragged Mordo directly into the portal. The vast grasslands are sunny. Lin Tae glanced at the streamer meteorite knife in his hand, hesitation for a moment, and handed it to Mordo. Come on, try it first, I'm afraid I'll accidentally smash you. How to try? Moro took the long knife that Lin Tae handed over, looked at Lin Tae with some doubts and asked. Are you stupid? This is a knife, just cut it at me. Lin Tae rolled his eyes at Modu, and said to Modu helplessly. Shu sha sha sha. Just as Lin Tae's voice fell, Mordo didn't have the slightest hesitation, and just chopped three times in a row. However, Lin Tae was neither broken nor any, special, situation. This is a knife that can't hurt anyone. Modu looked at the long knife in his hand and asked Lin Tae with a puzzled expression. Forget it, let me come. When Lin Tae saw this situation, he couldn't help but be a little puzzled. One took the streaming star meteorite from Mordo's hand, his hand shook, the blade flipped over, and Lin Tae waved the back of the knife to Mordo's shoulder suddenly. Modu covered his shoulders, stared at Lin Tae with indignation, and scolded lowly. It seems that the trigger probability is a bit low. Lin Tae raised his head, looked at the sky, frowned and muttered. However, before Lin Tae tried again, suddenly, the sky darkened, and a super meteorite that covered the sky suddenly appeared above their heads. Noticing the suddenly darkening sky, Mordo also raised his head. You made it. Mordo asked Lin Tae with a different expression on his shoulders. Ah. Uh, how far can your door be opened? The meteorite's landing speed doesn't seem to be very fast, but Lin Tae estimated that it should land in a few dozen seconds, and just asked Moro in a hurry. According to Lin Tae's observation, the meteorite in the sky must be at least 3 or 5 kilometers in diameter. If this thing really falls on them. It is estimated that even Kathmandu, 30 kilometers away, has been turned into ruins. Lin Tae is here to try the knife, not to destroy the city. Teacher. Modu glared at Lin Tae, did not continue, opened a teleportation door directly, and shouted towards the door. What's the situation? Ancient One Magician jumped out of the portal in an instant, looked at the huge amounts of meteorites in the sky, and asked Lin Tae with a bewildered expression. Accidents are all accidents. Lin Tae pulled out a rather awkward smile and explained to the Ancient One Magician. At this time, the Ancient One Magician couldn't help but think too much. Seeing that the huge amounts of meteorites were about to fall, the Ancient One Magician hurriedly opened the mirror space. In an instant, the mirrored space of the Ancient One Magician enveloped this space. Boom. When the meteorite entered the mirror space, a rather exaggerated shockwave was instantly generated. A crotch boy, like Mordo was directly swept away by the powerful shockwave hundreds of meters away. Are you going to destroy Kamar Taj? Ancient One Magician raised his hands, stroked the eye of Agamotto in his heart, and the faint green light instantly enveloped the huge amounts of meteorites. 
Time seemed to stand still, and huge amounts of meteorites were quietly suspended above their heads. It was said to be an accident. I thought it was a meteorite of the size of a washbasin. Lin Tei looked at the meteorite above his head, smiled embarrassingly at the Ancient One magician, and said to the Ancient One magician with a puzzled heart. According to Lin Tei's memory, the meteorite summoned by the meteorite knife was indeed big, but you call this a washbasin. Ancient One magician pointed to the meteorite on top of his head, looked at Lin Tei with a strange expression and asked. Okay, okay, my pot, okay. Lin Tei rolled his eyes at the Ancient One magician, and after speaking, his body suddenly bowed, jumped, and rushed directly to the meteorite above his head. Holding a high-yield hot melt bomb, it smashed directly into the meteorite. Boom. The high temperature of the hot melt bomb instantly smelted the huge amounts of meteorites to slag. A few seconds later, Lin Tei slowly landed, glanced at the dilapidated scene in the mirrored space, and said slowly. I think, maybe it's because this thing has a more obvious bonus to psionic energy. After kicking away a large piece of debris, Lin Tei looked at Ancient One Magician with a pained face and said. Modu. Ancient One Magician sighed, and without saying anything, shouted to Mordo who just stood up in the distance. Modu just rushed over, looked at the Ancient One Magician respectfully and said, What are your orders? Take his knife and try. Ancient One Magician's face sank, and he instructed Moru very seriously. Modu's face changed when he heard the words, and he asked Ancient One Magician in pain, Is it necessary? If you want to try it, just try it, where do you get so many words? Ancient One Magician frowned and reprimanded Mordo impatiently. Modu pursed his lips, was silent for a moment, silently came to Lin Tei's side, and took the red lighting meteorite knife zero from Lin Tei's hand. PFF. Ha 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 ha. Modu, this meteorite you made is so cute. After Mordo slashed Lin Tei nearly 30 times with the meteorite meteorite knife, a meteorite, with a file size of his finger smashed directly on top of Lin Tei's head. In an instant, Lin Tei couldn't help laughing. Ancient one magician, why don't you try it? Lin Tei held the, meteorite, summoned by Mordo and forcibly laughed, and suggested to the Ancient One Magician beside him. Ancient One Magician looked at Lin Tei, and then at the, meteorite, in Lin Tei's hand, sighed, directly cancelled the mirror space, and opened a portal to go back to Kamar Taj. Young people have to work harder. Lin Tei took back his meteorite meteorite from Mordo's hand, put the small and cute, meteorite, in Mordo's hand, raised his hand and patted Mordo's shoulder, very sympathetic towards Mordo, three, two, three, said. Gone, don't want to open the door for you for free in the future. Modu looked at the, meteorite, in his hand, and then at Lin Tei, who was full of sympathy, and scolded involuntarily. Come on, the ticket money, please open the door to my house. Lin Tei smiled, took out a twenty knives from his pocket, handed it to Modu, and said casually. I'm so angry, I tell you, I can't be bought with this amount of money. Mordo stared at Lin Tei and shouted with grief and indignation. Add one more, the most, don't accept bargaining, or I'll give you two. Lin Tei looked at Modu, and took out another twenty knives and slapped it on Modu's hand. He took advantage of the situation and raised the long knife in his hand, persuading him very, kindly. I. Modu looked at the long knife in Lin Tei's hand, and at the, kind, expression on Lin Tei's face, he was full of anger and had nowhere to vent. After being silent for a while, Mordo finally put the two banknotes in his pocket and silently opened a portal to Lin Tei. I tell you, Lin Tei, the ticket price is going to go up. If you don't have five tickets in the future, don't ask me to open the door for you again. Watching Lin Tei step into the portal, Mordo roared angrily, and immediately closed the portal without waiting for Lin Tei to take over. In the end, it's a young man, and it's still a little less stable. Lin Tei, who returned to the store, glanced at the gradually disappearing portal behind him, shrugged and muttered. Boss Lin, you're back. Just as Lin Tei returned to the store, SpongeBob SquarePants appeared in front of Lin Tei. What? Didn't you cause something else? Looking at SpongeBob SquarePants white eyes sparkling with a little star, Lin Tei subconsciously felt that something was wrong, looked at SpongeBob SquarePants very seriously and asked. How could it be, Boss Lin, who else in the family will cause trouble besides you? 
Hearing this, SpongeBob was stunned, spread his hands and put on an innocent look, looked at Lin Tay and said. Crack. Bolt gun loaded. Hulk accidentally maimed Banner's father-in-law. SpongeBob SquarePants saw that Lin Tay took out the bolt gun, his expression changed, and he said to Lin Tay very seriously. I know so well. When Lin Tay heard SpongeBob's words, he couldn't help rubbing his forehead and muttered in pain. Just broken. As he walked towards the front hall, Lin Tay reconfirmed to SpongeBob SquarePants next to him. Definitely. Hulk has a lot to do now. SpongeBob nodded and replied seriously. It didn't take a few seconds for Lin Tay and SpongeBob to come to the front room. I saw Hulk squatting on the ground at the moment, poking at General Ross who was lying on the ground with his fingers. Hulk. Seeing this scene, Lin Tay frowned and shouted at Hulk. Bad things are too brittle, don't blame Hulk. Hearing Lin Tay's voice, Hulk turned his head blankly, looked at Lin Tay and said innocently. It's so special that the entire chest cavity is smashed. Does it matter? Lin Tay took a step forward, and after observing General Ross's condition, he asked SpongeBob SquarePants beside him with doubts. At least you can see how you look like. SpongeBob SquarePants spread out his hands and nodded seriously. Lin Tay sighed, took out a resurrection coin from the system space and put it on General Ross's forehead. Boom. The next second, the bolt gun sounded, and General Ross's entire brain was blasted into pieces by the bomb. Boss, we are not some villains, you are not good. SpongeBob watched this scene, and asked Lin Tay blankly. Hulk nodded and said, Banner is very tangled. Roar. However, before Lin Tay could open his mouth to explain to these two living treasures, in less than two seconds, the corpse of General Ross, who was already dead, disappeared and appeared again, miraculously, resurrected. Fatty Green, let me tell you, in this life, you will never want to see Betty. General Ross, who had just been resurrected, didn't have time to react to his own situation. He saw Hulk, and when he was done, he put down all the doubts in his heart and sprayed directly at Hulk. I said, Banner's father-in-law, if you don't want to die again, I think you'd better stop talking to him now. Lin Tay looked at General Ross who looked indignant and persuaded helplessly. It's just a resurrection coin, it's nothing to Lin Tay, after all, it's useless for him to keep that thing. But, looking at Hulk's gradually distorted expression, Lin Tay felt that for the safety of his shop, it would be better to let this irrational General Ross calm down. Your medical treatment, is that weird? I just felt like someone shot me in the head. Hearing Lin Tay's voice, General Ross recovered from rage and looked at Lin Tay curiously. I'm sorry, I'm not a medical soldier. I haven't learned any professional ambulance knowledge. Lin Tay shrugged 0.0, looked at General Ross embarrassedly and replied. Speaking of which, Lin Tay doesn't actually have any deep hatred with this man, and naturally there is no need to show any face to others. What's more, he was still Banner's old husband. Anyway, thank you very much for your help. General Ross nodded to Lin Tay and didn't struggle too much. Anyway, he felt that he was in a pretty good state now. After all, someone saved his life, and a person who can become a general will naturally not accuse others of what is wrong like a 250-year-old. You're welcome. Lin Tay smiled politely. General Ross looked at Lin Tay, then at Hulk, took a deep breath, glared at Hulk, turned to Lin Tay and said, I hope you, as the guardian of this fat green man, can take care of him. After saying that, General Ross left Lin Tay's shop directly. It was very early in the morning, and the morning wind that was gradually entering the winter was already a little cool. On the edge of the Hudson River, in a place with few people, Lin Tay and Banner stood quietly by the river with fishing rods in hand. On the side, SpongeBob held a large plastic bucket and stared at the river with anticipation. Not far away, a pony was put on, and Gary was holding a love story that was so sweet that the lines were so sweet that she read it with relish. In this harmonious picture, it is difficult to make people feel that each of the four people present has the strength to easily destroy a city, and even some can destroy the entire planet. A few hundred meters away from the four of Lin Tay, the special security personnel of several forces responsible for peripheral security are not in such a good mood as Lin Tay and the others at this moment. Sir, do we really need to be so serious about such a bunch of salted fish? An Aegis agent under Phil Coulson, holding a telescope in his hand, 
looked at the extremely harmonious picture in the distance, and asked the officer beside him very tangled. You didn't go to the handling of the 08 Blood Rose before. For his men, Phil Coulson is generally easygoing. In addition, during this period of time, his own leaders, Linte and others did not bother him much. Now Phil Coulson is very satisfied with the current situation. He was not angry at all for such a meaningless question from his subordinates. Ah, I heard that it was those vampires who tied a child to make that person so angry. Thinking about it this way, that person doesn't seem to be a bad person. After all, he is a young man. The little brother next to Phil Coulson only officially joined Aegis this year, and he is quite a pure academic. Speaking of anger, it is inevitable to have some naivety. Definitely, that's the main reason why Phil Coulson took the young man with him. He didn't want to take those old field workers with him, and if the conflict was repeated, the good mood he had saved in the past two or three days would be completely destroyed. So, our boss has been thinking about recruiting this guy, isn't it? Although this subordinate is young, innocent, and relatively straightforward in speaking and doing things, Phil Coulson is quite optimistic about this young man. This young man has a certain degree of understanding of many of Lin Tay's actions before. Phil Coulson had nothing to hide from him. By the way, are there any fish caught here? They've been standing like this for half an hour. The young subordinates were indeed a little bored because of the surveillance work during this period of time, and they kept talking about it endlessly. Fortunately, Phil Coulson is also in a good mood. Anyway, there is nothing to do, Lin Tay and the others are not too special for fishing, and Phil Coulson is happy to chat with this young man more. Moreover, if the situation on Lin Tay's side is relatively stable in the future, Phil Coulson feels that it is unlikely that he will stay here and be responsible for Lin Tay's monitoring work. At that time, it is also a good thing to have a, suitable, successor. He started to understand Lin Tay and the people under Lin Tay's, subordinates, and he always shook his head out of this young man. The monitoring personnel of Aegis on this side were calm and indifferent, while the monitoring personnel sent by General Ross on the other side were not in such a, calm, mood. Whether it is Lin Tay or Banner, mainly Hulk, they have killed many little brothers on General Ross's side before. Although there is only a special monitoring team at the scene now, but after hearing the previous record of these two monsters, the members of this team are more or less nervous. What's more, they are not the same as the main target of Aegis. The main target of General Ross's group has always been Banner, and it has never changed. Even though they already knew that Lin Tay had a very powerful power, they didn't put their main focus on Lin Tay. As for the other, Freak, with a yellow square, it is even less worthy of their concern. After all, Lin Tay is someone who can talk to people a lot, so he doesn't just say, Hulk, with a single sentence, and then he bangs a hammer. But Hulk can't, at least, on General Ross's side, he never thought of talking to Hulk. Especially the last time I went to Lin Tay, I was thinking that I couldn't do it recently, so I would talk to Banner and see if I could sell the blood to him. The result was good. Within three seconds of the meeting, Hulk appeared and almost killed him with two hammers. This made it even more difficult for General Ross to change his mind. Fox hunting, fox hunting, unknown targets enter the alert range, please pay attention. When necessary, priority evacuation is allowed. Just as the elites in the army were watching Banner and others nervously, a warning sound came from the radio. When the two soldiers on the most, front line, heard this, they immediately began to pack their things and were ready to evacuate at any time. On the other hand, the Aegis surveillance personnel also discovered the same situation. However, they were not as nervous as those soldiers, and Phil Coulson, who was standing on the front line, was a little curious. Who is this so-called unknown target, and directly arranged for someone to start collecting information? Hello, Mr. Lin, right. Zebudia Kilgrave is honored to meet you here. A handsome-looking man in a purple suit came to Lin Tay and the others, leaned against the guardrail, and spoke to Lin Tay. Is something wrong? Lin Tay raised his brows, very strange, all the guys who were, security guards, outside had stopped working. Why did they let people over? Whether it was General Ross or Phil Coulson, Lin Tay and others had already noticed it. However, Lin Tay, who originally wanted to be clean, thought, with these gangs watching from the outside, it wasn't quieter on his side, so he just let it go. 
Just, did not expect. Can you get to know me? Kilgrave put on a rather gentle smile and said to Lin Tay with a rather peaceful tone. Can you get away? The smell on your body is too strong. At the moment, Lin Tay also reacted, who is this Kilgrave in front of him, and spouted at this person with a look of disgust. Zebdia Kilgrave, Lin Tay's memory of him is not too deep, but he is somewhat impressed by this scumbag character. Definitely, that's a story later, Jessica Jones. That girl may be about the same age as Peter, and now she has changed her last name, I don't know yet. However, no matter what, this guy is a scum who likes to manipulate others to do bad things, Lin Tay is still quite sure. Kilgrave frowned when he heard Lin Tay's words, and slowly approached Banner, who whispered, kill him. Ah. After being controlled by the so-called Purple Man, Banner's eyes changed and he charged towards Lin Tay with a roar. However, in the current situation, the other two beside Lin Tay didn't seem to see the same, and they were still doing their own thing. Kilgrave frowned and glanced at the yellow square holding a plastic bucket and muttering, jellyfish, jellyfish, and then at the girl reading the novel on the pony, feeling that something was not right. According to the information he collected before, isn't this Bruce Banner able to transform? What about the Big Hulk? Why did he charge directly with his fists? Kilgrave felt that maybe his order was not direct enough, and the idiot didn't understand it at all. Bruce Banner transforms. Kilgrave shouted directly at Banner. However, when his voice went down, it shocked everyone else. SpongeBob SquarePants left the place directly holding the bucket. Gary pouted, and also picked up her little pony and retreated a few dozen meters. However, before the two left, Kilgrave clearly felt a strong sympathy in the eyes of the two. Man, you are the first player I've ever seen who is so thorough. Lin Tay still held the fishing rod, motionless, and watched as Banner turned into Hulk. Yes, yes, that's it, kill him, my good boy. Kilgrave was obviously completely attracted by Hulk's strong body, and didn't hear Lin Tay's words at all. Hulk. However, it turns out that Hulk's rock-solid skin doesn't seem to absorb the so-called Purple Man's virus. Just as Kilgrave watched with anticipation, an iron fist the size of a basketball file came into his eyes. Boom. Hulk's anger-filled punch directly made Kilgrave and Mother Earth a perfect integration. The whole person is completely embedded in the asphalt road. Lin Tay grinned at this scene, and couldn't help feeling a little, sympathy, for this unfortunate ghost. However, things are not over. Although Hulk was ignorant, he clearly felt that Banner was being controlled just now. This is definitely a great insult to a, child, who yearns for freedom. I saw Hulk jumped and jumped a dozen meters. Boom. There was a loud noise, smoke and dust rose, and a brand new pit appeared. However, Kilgrave at the moment felt like a lantern appeared before him. All kinds of his life, in this short moment, have experienced it all over again. It's almost done, don't destroy this too much, otherwise we'll have to find a place. Seeing that Hulk didn't seem very relieved, Lin Tay hurriedly reminded. He didn't care about the life and death of the Purple Man, but simply didn't want Hulk to destroy their leisure area because of such a scumbag. Bang. Hearing Lin Tay's words, Hulk nodded, but before coming out of the pit, he gave Kilgrave another kick. As this still assembled, Lin Tay put the fishing rod aside, walked slowly to the big pit, looked at Kilgrave, who seemed to have no skeleton in the pit, and said, sympathetically. Fish. Lin Tay. Just then, Hulk suddenly roared. Lin Tay turned his head and saw that the fishing rod he had just set up on the railing had been dragged into the river. It makes me angry. Lin Tay looked at his fishing rod that was gradually receding, and at Kilgrave, who was still panting in the pit, pursed his lips, and whispered unhappily. Then, the bolt gun was used, and the purgatory bomb mode was activated. Bang bang bang, three shots in a row. The chemical flame that was thousands of degrees tall was raging, and Kilgrave in the pit couldn't even scream and roar, and it turned into ashes. Mr. Lin. I'm sorry, I have something to say, I don't know if I should ask. At this moment, Phil Coulson came to Lin Tay with hurried steps, glanced at the big pit next to him, and looked at Lin Tay helplessly. Come to me after you've made up your mind. Lin Tay was in a bad mood at this time, and it was strange that he could give Phil Coulson a good face. Cough cough, who was that person just now? 
Phil Coulson didn't mind Lin Tay's attitude, still posing with his standard formulaic smile, and spoke to Lin Tay again. People. Did you see people from here? Phil Coulson, there's nothing you can do if you don't have a good brain, but now that medicine is so advanced, it shouldn't be too difficult to go to the hospital to see if there's something wrong with your eyes. Is it possible that an organization as big as you can't even pay you a medical bill now? If that's the case, next time I meet your boss, I'll tell you. Lin Tay squinted at Phil Coulson, and babbled a lot. It left Phil Coulson stunned, and he didn't even have a chance to interject. Backquote, well, if you say so, I will take it as such. Quote, quote. Sorry, I wasted your time. If I have nothing to do, I will leave first. Phil Coulson looked at Lin Tay's, dangerous, eyes, knowing that if he was ignorant, there might be a pinch of ashes in the pit that belonged to him. In order to avoid this situation, Phil Coulson, a guy with a bad mind in Lin Tay's mouth, instantly showed his greatest desire to survive. The moment Phil Coulson turned and left, Lin Tay even thought that Phil Coulson was possessed by some, wind man, and he ran so fast. At first glance, the man has disappeared from his career. Although I'm a little angry, but, at least, it turns out that there are still fish here. After SpongeBob SquarePants and Gary came back, Lin Tay glanced at the Hudson River OK, turned his head, and said to everyone with a smile. Hulk. Want to eat? Fish. Hulk squatted on the edge of the railing, looked at the river in front of him, and muttered a little aggrieved. It's not bad if you catch jellyfish. SpongeBob put the plastic bucket in his arms on the ground and looked at Lin Tay expectantly. As for Gary, this girl has become completely, detached, in that romance novel. I don't need to let Banner come out today, it is estimated that the guy's control will not be lifted for a while. Lin Tay looked at everyone's performance, took a deep breath, and said something to Hulk beside him. Afterwards, Lin Tay directly picked up the fishing rod that Banner had used from Hulk and continued. The big pit next to it. The, big living person, that appeared dozens of seconds ago. These are all unimportant. Anyway. Now Lin Tay's only thought is that he must not be bald today. Gong. In the evening, Lin Tay's small shop. It is very rare that we have gathered most of the people that Lin Tay knows today. Not to mention John and McCall who come here often. Jin Biao even came to Lin Tay's store today with Bullseye. Ancient One Magician, Mordo, Wong, the magician who are relatively familiar with Lin Tay and Kamar Taj, also appeared in Lin Tay's shop. Even the best friends of Hulk and Spongebob Squarepants, the two children, were present. Such a lively scene really made Lin Tay a little, surprised. You guys have negotiated this. Why are you all here today? Lin Tay is not a person with a, federal tradition, and he never refuses customers who come to the door without calling. Only. Today is not a festival, and there is no major event. How can these people appear together as if they had, discussed? We're here to eat. John and McCall didn't have so many scruples and spoke directly. I heard you lost that. Zebdia Kilgrave today. Jin and spoke slowly. I recently got some good wine and came over to rub the ant cow. The ancient one magician represents the intent of their line. Today is the weekend 323 ah. Peter and Gwen spoke to Lin Tay innocently. After listening to everyone's answers, Lin Tay pursed his lips and sighed. So. Barbecue today. How about it? Although everyone has their own ideas, for Lin Tay, this lively scene is actually not very disgusting to him. A series of approvals sounded, and Lin Tay glanced at SpongeBob SquarePants beside him. We still have 123 cans of Ant Cow. SpongeBob grinned and said happily. Lin Tay heard this, rolled his eyes at SpongeBob SquarePants, and said helplessly, prepare some normal things. Not everyone can eat Ant Cows. In addition to the four members of the Lin Tay family, the Ancient One magician could actually eat two pieces of ant beef. The rest. Lin Tay really didn't want people to come here for a meal, so they all rushed to the street. Ant Bull. Jin Bing looked at Lin Tay curiously and muttered. A creature from my last world, delicious, but dangerous. Definitely, if you really want to eat it, I have some ideas. Triple A. Just, are you ready to experience what it's like to die? Lin Tay looked at everyone's expectant eyes, sighed helplessly, and said to everyone very depressed. Although Ant Beef can indeed eat dead man, Lin Tay still has thousands of resurrection coins in his hand. 
Lin Tae really doesn't take the trivial matter of, life and death, seriously. The big deal is that one person will issue a resurrection coin before the meal. Experience death. When Jin Bian heard Lin Tae's words, his expression suddenly became serious. After a moment of silence, Jin Bing looked at Lin Tae firmly and said, I want to experience it. Death, for the vast majority of people, is something they try to avoid. However, for Jin Bing, perhaps this is an opportunity for him to experience what his loved one has gone through. Don't worry about the two of you. You are not old enough to experience death. Lin Tae looked at Peter and Gwen who were shining in the opposite eyes, and said helplessly. Forget about this kind of stuff. After all, people do have some pain that is not understood by outsiders, and it is not a big deal to want to experience it. But these two children, let's forget it. If this age experiences a reincarnation of life and death, Lin Tae really doesn't know how these two children will live in the future. Take Lin Tae himself as an example, he has experienced death countless times, so now he is no longer the pure, sunshine boy. Everything in this world seems to him not as, important, as he once understood. Even though he now has, family, such as Spongebob Squarepants, Hulk, and Gary, the feeling of contempt for death still makes it difficult for him to feel too, nostalgic, about all of this. They don't eat. Just when Lin Tae turned his attention to the Ancient One Magician group, the Ancient One Magician said directly. Modu and Wang looked at each other and sighed helplessly. In fact, for a creature, like magician, being able to experience the feeling of death once is also a very longing thing. After all, magicians have always been creatures that grew out of curiosity. Magic, psionic energy, and dimensions are all things they yearn to explore, and so is death. And, with the ancient one magician around, they don't need to worry too much. Therefore, both Modu and Wang wanted to try the food that Lin Tae said would allow them to experience death. However, with a single word from the ancient one magician, they completely stopped their thoughts of exploring death. Yes, then start preparing. Lin Tae saw that everyone was ready, so he didn't worry too much, he waved his hand and instructed SpongeBob SquarePants. Since the status of Banner at the moment is still unknown, Lin Tae also did not call Hulk to go back. With such a big man as Hulk, the food naturally needs to be prepared more. After SpongeBob SquarePants moved all the canned ant cows in the warehouse to the roof, Lin Tae took out a just dead, fresh ant cow directly from his system space. Are you sure this thing is gourmet? Jin Bian looked at the extremely fresh ant cow and asked Lin Tae strangely. After all, Whoever gave it to someone who saw a creature that looked like a legendary monster with all kinds of weird parasites swarming around it, it is estimated that it would not be regarded as a qualified food for the first time. Bar. Definitely, this is one of the highest quality ingredients in the empire. You know, just because of this thing, how many merchant families have been hanged. Let's talk about it. There are also players who have tried it themselves. You ask, who would say that ant beef is not delicious? Lin Tae spread his hands and replied seriously. Although it will be painful to eat this stuff, but there is no denying that it is indeed a rather delicious food. Ancient One Magician nodded and said in agreement. Hulk, SpongeBob SquarePants, Gary, Lin Tae, and others can hardly be counted as normal human beings. They eat ant cows, and the side effects are relatively small, and they can resist it. However, the Ancient One Magician is different. Although she is powerful, her physical quality is barely, a hundred million points, higher than ordinary people. After eating it once before, I almost didn't send her away directly, but now people are still risking the possibility of hanging, and coming here to try it has proved how delicious the ant beef is. After a rather inexplicable dinner, everyone went back to their respective homes. Lin Tae, on the other hand, sat alone on the reclining chair on the roof, silently looking up at the starry sky. What are you thinking about? How to become fascinated? Gary came to Lin Tae with a glass of lemonade and asked Lin Tae curiously. I was just thinking, what should I be thinking about? Lin Tae tilted his head slightly, looked at Jiali with a smile, and said very gently. To be honest, there are times when Lin Tae really doesn't have any hope for his life. It may not be right to say this, but Lin Tae really doesn't know what to do or think about sometimes. It has been half a year since he came to this world. 
except for those special events that, encountered, Lin Tei suddenly found that he never seemed to think about what to do. This feeling made him even more confused than when he was in the last world. At least when he was there, he could still shout, for the sake of the empire, for the emperor, charge. And now, he doesn't even know what he should do to relieve the endless emptiness in his heart. Then don't think about it. It's really boring to find a novel, or play cards with Spongebob Squarepants and the others, so let's find another place to camp. Gary raised her hand, stroked Lin Tay's forehead, looked at Lin Tay very gently and said. Lin Tay pulled Golly to his side and said with a chuckle, this person must have some purpose, otherwise. What's the difference between those clay and wood sculptures? Conquer the world. Be a hero. Or, be a simple villain. Gary turned her face sideways, smiled and looked at Lin Tay and said. It is the winter season, and the evening wind is slightly cooler, however, Lin Tay at the moment's heart is quite warm. The hero is too tired, being the boss is too annoying, the villain. Dot too immoral. I don't even know, you are so picky. Gary smiled and muttered casually. Perhaps at first, Gary just simply liked the powerful psionic power in Lin Tay. But after getting along for a while, Gary felt that her man always gave people a rather strange freshness from time to time. Drip drip. Just when Lin Tay was about to say something to Jia Li, suddenly, his warp body communicator rang abruptly. You go about your business first. I'll go back to the house and wait for you. Jia Li looked at the local tyrant gold machine that Lin Tay just took out, and said to Lin Tay with a smile. Without waiting for Lin Tay to say anything, Gary got up directly from Lin Tay's side and left. Old Baidung, can't you check the time when you call? As soon as the, call, was connected, Lin Tei yelled at his emperor with full of anger. I found a way to locate you. However, it was obvious that the emperor on the opposite side had no intention of, joking, with Lin Tei at this time. The emperor's serious tone made Lin Tei become serious too. What? Are you going to send someone here to conquer the world? After two seconds of silence, Lin Tay asked the emperor in a serious tone that he rarely appears in this picture. I would like to hear your views. The emperor's solemn and deep voice sounded again. Lin Tay frowned and was silent. For a while, he didn't know what to say. The world over the emperor's side, the empire has indeed begun to decline, but, in any case, the world over there, Lin Tay has been fighting for decades. To say that there is no emotion at all is pure nonsense. However, if it is said that this is a world of despair for the sake of the world over there, Lin Tay also feels that it is a little inappropriate. So, at the moment, it is really difficult for Lin Tay to make a proper decision for the emperor's words. There are countless existences at the same level as you, or even higher levels, in this world, I remember that I should have reminded you. After a long silence, Lin Tay spoke slowly. Then, Lin Tay, what is your decision? Give up the world you have fought for for decades, and find a stable world, and stay silent. The emperor is a very wise being, and he naturally understands what Lin Tay said. However, for the emperor, no matter what means are used, as long as the goal can be achieved, then everything is worth it. Although Lin Tay was not a, pure, native of the empire, after a series of understandings, the emperor also knew what Lin Tay had done in their world. Preform charge, hot melt together, and so on. I remember, Gilliman has woken up, right. The regent of such a big empire should be able to solve most of your troubles. Lin Tei thought for a moment, and asked the emperor with a three-point doubt and seven-point firmness in his tone. Those smurfs. Lin Tei, my child, you haven't fought alongside them, you should know that in our huge empire, those smurfs alone are not enough. The emperor still had a rather disapproving attitude towards his son's strength. After all, the backstab of his beloved son back then, the actions of some sons really disappointed him. My emperor, to be honest, even if you locate the world I am in now, I guess you can't, do anything. Lin Tei didn't refute the emperor's view, just putting it so far away, even if the emperor finds this world, Lin Tei doesn't think that the emperor can do anything to this world. After all, there are too many, high-level existences, in this world. What do you think if you just shake people? The emperor was silent for a long time, sighed, and there was a little helplessness in his tone. In fact, the emperor knew that if the world Lin Tei was in had many beings of the same level as him, then it would be too difficult to conquer the world over there. 
But, in any case, Lin Tei found a new world, and the people over there were not disturbed by the war, so the emperor had to think a little more. You old man, you have been sitting on the real golden toilet for a long time, and your brain has been filled with soup, right? Do you think that in such a peaceful world that I live in, how many idiots will respond to your shaking people's advertisements? Or, do you think that the humans here are the kind of idiots who don't take good care of them and have to go to other worlds to be animals? Lin Tei had no idea at all about the emperor's plan to shake people from other worlds. After all, in his opinion, going there is basically equivalent to, seeking a dead end. The next morning, Lin Tei woke up early. After washing and tidying up, Lin Tei sat alone behind the counter and carefully checked the card in his hand. Intel, Lin Tei found a card named, Krieg's 209th Siege Regiment. Lin Tei stopped the movement of his hands. This card was actually drawn as early as when Lin Tei first came to the Marvel world. Only. For Lin Tei at that time, everything in the Warhammer world was something he desperately wanted to forget. Lin Tei didn't want to take another look at this, core, that had fought countless tough battles under his leadership. However, last night, the communication from the Emperor made Lin Tei wake up the, loyal minister, who had been in the dust for a long time. Boss Lin, what did you get today? Are there canned ant cows? Our stock is running out. Three four zeros, just when Lin Tei stared at the card in his hand in a daze, SpongeBob SquarePants suddenly appeared in front of Lin Tei and asked Lin Tei curiously. Today's card has not been drawn yet. Lin Tei glanced at SpongeBob SquarePants, smiled slightly, and replied indifferently. Well, people always think simpler when they have nothing. Just like back then, when Lin Tei just arrived in the world of Warhammer 40,000, he didn't bother to think about anything. Either die on promise, or fight hard for the future of mankind. He naturally chose the latter. But now, he's got friends here, he's got a lover, and he's got a lot of things he'd never experienced in the previous world. His way of thinking has gradually changed. At least, now, you have to tell him, let him go and sacrifice his life bravely for what kind of righteousness. Lin Tei estimated that he would be able to give the person who said this a meal with explosive bombs and plasma, and directly deal with this kind of goods. Going to the kitchen to draw a card. I think you should replenish our inventory today. SpongeBob looked at Lin Tei's indifferent face and suggested to Lin Tei with a smile. SpongeBob, I have a question for you. After a moment of silence, Lin Tei looked at SpongeBob SquarePants curiously and said. Hearing this, Spongebob was stunned for a moment, then turned his head to look at Lin Tei and nodded dumbly, if you can't answer, you can't take my food. Definitely. Lin Tei smiled and replied very seriously. Okay, just ask. After Spongebob heard Lin Tei's promise, he spread his hands and replied casually. If, one day, Beechberg was occupied by aliens, would you give everything for Beechberg? Lin Tei tilted his head and looked at Spongebob Squarepants, and asked expectantly. Why are the aliens occupying Beechberg? Spongebob rhetorically asked. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter, you just say, if aliens take over Beechberg, what do you want to do? Lin Tei looked at Spongebob Squarepants, rolled his eyes, and asked Spongebob Squarepants angrily. Do they eat crab burgers? Spongebob still didn't seem to understand Lin Tei's question, and asked dumbly. Okay, prepare our breakfast. Full of depression, watching Spongebob Squarepants for a while, Lin Tei said helplessly. Okay. When Spongebob heard Lin Tei's words, he was no longer in a daze, and he didn't commit any crimes. He saluted Lin Tei and rushed into the kitchen. Big baby, as soon as Spongebob entered the kitchen, Gary came down from the second floor. Without waiting for Lin Tei's reaction, the girl rushed directly into Lin Tei's arms. How many times have I said it, out of the bedroom, just call me Lin Tay. Lin Tay looked at Gary in his arms helplessly, and reminded helplessly. Shout. Boring. When Jia Li heard Lin Tay's words, she pouted and muttered aggrievedly. Yo, boss, lady boss, are you tired of it again? Before Lin Tay could say anything, Banner also came to the front hall. Looking at the tired images of Lin Tay and Gary, Banner, the, pseudo, single dog, gritted his teeth and muttered a few words. Hey, isn't this Dr. Banner who we were controlled at once? What? This is recovery. Can you talk? 
Lin Tay looked at Banner with a smile, and sneered in an inauthentic manner. Yesterday, the scene of Banner being controlled by some purple man was not recorded, but Hulk, sees, it clearly. Even if Banner wanted to refute now, he couldn't find any reason. By the way, Banner, have you ever thought about living in another world? Just when Banner was racking his brains thinking about how to get back to Lin Tay, Lin Tay suddenly asked Banner Zero. Banner froze for a moment, looked at Lin Tay in surprise, and couldn't help frowning. I said, boss, I'm the most stable income person in our store anyway, don't you want to send me to hell? How could it be? It's just that my old leader has been short of capable staff recently. Didn't this call me just yesterday, saying that he wanted to find some suitable talents? Lin Tay spread his hands and replied casually. He he, I believe in your evil. Although Banner doesn't know how true Lin Tay's words are, Banner is very clear that his boss is definitely a very standard, pot slinger. Zero. And, thinking about Lin Tay's words carefully, Banner didn't think that living in another world would be better than his current situation. Hey, how do you talk? Lin Tay glared at Banner and muttered angrily. Have you forgotten that you once described to us how hopeless the world you lived in was? Although I'm not very popular here, but, at least, I'm still a person here. Go over there. Do I have to be the so-called, Imperial Tai Hanhan, just like the Oglin Ape Man you said? Banner looked at Lin Tay's helpless look and said happily. Although Banner's 0.0 was a while ago, it was not very good. But, at the very least, most of the time, as long as he avoids his father-in-law, he can still be a person. And what about the world Lin Tay has been through? Even if he didn't go, Banner could feel from Lin Tay how dangerous and desperate that world was. After all, after getting along for so long, Banner has basically seen through Lin Tay. To make such a, open-minded, and cheerful person by nature show a world of, extreme despair, no matter what Banner thought he felt that there was no good place to go there. Hulk is much smarter than those Oglin ape men. Besides, if you go there, maybe you can go to the oil guy's site and mix up a forging sage. Lin Tay pouted and retorted very weakly. The sun sets in the west, and the golden sun shines all over the earth. Sometimes, a person's peace of mind is this kind of dull feeling. Looking at the gradually setting sun, Lin Tay couldn't help but smile. You know, this kind of beauty is always spoiled by some uninvited guests. Lin Tay sat on a bench by the street and said lightly. Phil Coulson, who suddenly visited, stood there awkwardly, not knowing what to say for a while. Sorry for ruining your good mood. After being silent for a long time, Phil Coulson looked at Lin Tay helplessly and apologized. However, anyone with a little, emotional intelligence, can hear how perfunctory Phil Coulson's apology is. Lin Tay shook his head and glanced at Phil Coulson beside him. Tell me, what do you want to say to me today? Mr. Lin, we have already checked the information of the person who disturbed you yesterday. Phil Coulson pursed his lips and was silent for a moment, looking at the leisurely expression on Lin Tay's face, there were thousands of emotions in his heart, but he couldn't express it at the moment. Kilgrave, the guy you've made insane. Oh wait Lin Tay chuckled and replied casually. To be honest, Lin Tay doesn't really care about these, little things. Life is alive, there are always these kinds of accidents, in order to be called life. If someone can live a stable life without any, accidents, Lin Tay can only admire that person's, good luck. You know. Phil Coulson frowned and looked at Lin Tay with some doubts. As someone who has always wanted to pull Lin Tay into his own camp, Phil Coulson really didn't want to miss any chance to deal with Lin Tay well. Even if it's just, trivial things, that aren't too important. As long as he can sell well on Lin Tay's side, Phil Coulson will not be stingy with his, goodwill. Phil, don't mind if I call you that. Lin Tay looked at Phil Coulson with a smile and asked. Phil Coulson nodded, his smile became a little more sincere, and it seemed that Lin Tay was very satisfied with his name Roar. I remember, I told you, I'm a magician. Right. Your so-called intelligence has no practical effect on me. If, I want to know, then I will know, without you having to go to great lengths to find out. Understand. Lin Tay looked at Phil Coulson and said very seriously. To be honest, he could feel the, sincereness, of Phil Coulson. It's just that the sincerity of these, special people, really means nothing to him. 
if I had to say it, even the casual kindness of a passerby was much more sincere than those of them. Mr. Lin, I know you have some unkind views about us. But, believe me, I really hope to be friends with you. Phil Coulson sighed, looked at Lin Tay helplessly, and whispered. Speaking of which, Phil Coulson can be regarded as a relatively, easy to get along, character compared to a certain black marinated egg. However, Lin Tay doesn't really like these guys who approach him with a fairly clear purpose. Abandon your so-called world security. Lin Tay raised his brows, looked at Phil Coulson very playfully and asked. You don't really think, with your personality, that anyone can befriend you without any purpose. Hearing Lin Tay's words, Phil Coulson seemed to let go completely, sat next to Lin Tay, and asked with a smile. When you said this, I suddenly felt that you seemed to be a worthy friend. Lin Tay chuckled, looked at Phil Coulson, and said very relaxedly. Special people, like Phil Coulson, Lin Tay is actually rarely seen. The Inquisition of the Last World, the Court of Assassins, or even some. The, lobbyists, of the imperial aristocracy, Lin Tay has all come into contact with. There are very few guys who can completely let go of their goals and express their thoughts in a short period of time. Phil Coulson, to be able to say such a thing, has proved that he has completely let go of his purpose. To be honest, I really don't understand your brazed egg chief. Does the world really need people like you to protect it? Or, did he really think he was protecting the world? Lin Tay pulled out a pack of cigarettes out of nowhere, pulled out one, and handed it to Phil Coulson. For nearly a hundred years, Lin Tay has not smoked this stuff, that is to say, today is more complicated, so he carried such a box of cigarettes. Is there a fire? After taking the cigarette from Lin Tay, Phil Coulson was silent for a moment, and finally took it to his mouth. It looks like you're not a smoker either. Lin Tay shook his head, looked at Phil Coulson with embarrassment and muttered. Putting this pack of cigarettes on his back just represented his complicated mood now, but. Mr. Lin, do you know? I've always wanted to be like a captain since I was a kid. Phil Coulson put the cigarette in his mouth to his ear and said immediately. Steve Rogers. Hey. The world you live in is peaceful and peaceful, and the rare wars are just competitions for interests between people. So the heroes you see are just people like him. Lin Tay chuckled and said contemptuously. That Captain America, in some ways, does have some qualities that most people don't have. But, that's just because the world 340 is too peaceful. If put in a world on Lin Tay. Lin Tay can't say that everyone is like that, but most of the Astral Army are no worse than Captain America. Krieg, Cadia, Mordian, and many other astral forces all possess the spirit of absolute loyalty and the courage to sacrifice. Steve Rogers, in that world, really isn't that special. What's the difference between you and the world we live in? Phil Coulson was stunned when he heard the words, looked at Lin Tay curiously and asked. It's no different, it's just that I've been in a more terrifying world before. Lin Tay was silent for two seconds, then he let out a long breath and whispered as if relieved. You have an unparalleled special talent, don't you really have no idea of what you want to do for this world? Phil Coulson didn't struggle too much, looked at Lin Tay very curiously and asked. Hearing Phil Coulson's words, Lin Tay couldn't help chuckling twice. Young man, there are some things you haven't experienced, you won't understand what I'm thinking now. According to your information, you are only 20 years old this year. Phil Coulson looked at Lin Tay blankly and asked. Do you think what you see is real? Lin Tay shook his head with a smile and asked meaningfully. In a very deserted street shop. Lin Tay, McCall, and John sat at the table by the door, chatting casually. Robert, that girl has been staring at you for ten minutes. Lin Tay glanced at the little girl sitting at the bar eating pancakes, and reminded McCall in a low voice. I thought I was the most attractive one between us. John gave a cryptic glance at the little girl who was staring at McCall and muttered with a rather lost expression. Hee hee, you're so funny. Tilda operator. Hearing this, Lin Tay couldn't help laughing, praising John's sense of humor very sincerely. Although I have to admit that John, who is in the, sweet, period, is really handsome. However, in comparison, Lin Tay is more aware of how exaggerated his only, advantage, is. To be honest, Lin Tay can be sure that the little girl staring at McCall definitely knew McCall long ago. Otherwise, few women can, 
Resist, his perfect image. Terry, a kid with a singer. After being silent for a long time, McCall sighed and explained to his two friends with a little helplessness on his face. You want to help her. Although Lin Tay didn't often go to those special places, the little girl McCall called Terry had a lot of dust on her body. Even a, simple, boy like Lin Tay can tell at a glance what the girl does. But well, people also rely on, skills, to survive, and Lin Tay will also maintain a basic respect. Only. This guy, McCall, must be in his 50s this year. He is really not a good match for a little girl who is in her 20s at most, doing special business. Hearing Lin Tay's words, McCall was silent without saying a word. However, Lin Tay was very keen to capture the ray of light that flashed in the eyes of the old man. Aren't you waiting for her to beg you? Lin Tay looked at McCall with a smirk and asked. Everyone has their own way of living, and I don't like to interfere with others. McCall frowned, and seemed to be a little bit unfazed by Lin Tay's statement. However, there are always some people who can't open their mouths for various reasons. To be honest, Robert, if you really want to help her, gentlemen, it's not a problem to ask first. Looking at McCall's awkward expression, John couldn't help shaking his head, posing as someone who had come over, and taught McCall. Why do I always feel that what you say is a bit inconsistent? Lin Tay glanced at John, looked at John strangely and muttered. A guy who is still in his first love has no say here. John glared at Lin Tay and said angrily. All right, all right, all of you are here. I'm just a novice, I'll keep quiet, all right. Lin Tay raised his brows, spread his hands, and complained helplessly. Speaking of which, among the three, Lin Tay is the only one who has never been married. There's nothing wrong with what John said. Terry. The atmosphere at the dinner table was a little dull for a while. Lin Tay looked at this and shouted directly at the little girl at the bar. Lin Tay. McCall glared at Lin Tay. But, at this moment, the little girl named Terry has come. Seeing this, McCall couldn't say anything. Are you Robert's friends? Terry naturally sat on McCall's side, smiled and asked Lin Tay and John. I don't like talking nonsense very much. What should I do? Lin Tay approached John and muttered softly. Shall we go and sit in the back? In fact, John is also a, chicken. When he was with Helen, he was a passive and weak chicken, and it was all about Helen's performance. Your friend seems a little, shy. Terry looked at Lin Tay and John who were talking small talk, smiled, and said calmly to McCall on the side. How have you been recently? McCall didn't care about the little movements of Lin Tay and John, and acted very naturally, and asked Terry who was beside him in a slow voice. Boom. At this moment, the door of the small restaurant was kicked open very rudely. Three guys who looked very, not easy to mess with, walked in, staring at Lin Tay's table. There are guests waiting for you. The guy who seemed to be the leader among the three glanced at Lin Tay and the others, then looked at Terry and said coldly. Can't you wait? Terry looked a little panicked, but after glancing at McCall, he quickly calmed down. 3. This girl has a designation today, if you want to have some fun, I can arrange other girls for you. Trust me, my girls are definitely the best in the world. The leading man was stunned when he heard Terry's words, and then turned his attention to the three of Lin Tay. He seemed to have understood something. He smiled and handed the business card to Lin Tay and the others, and was very, backquote, enthusiastic. Introduce your, work. Zero. McCall looked at Terry and then at the leading man, frowning, just about to take the business card handed by the other party. As a result, Lin Tay stood up, raised his hand and patted McCall's arm. Do you want me to deal with it? Lin Tay just quietly looked at McCall and asked, not caring how the, not easy to mess with, guys on the opposite side reacted. I'll do it, you're doing things, and the movement is too much. McCall was silent for two seconds, looked at Lin Tay's serious expression, and suddenly laughed. Okay, let's do it. Lin Tay shrugged his shoulders and sat back to his original position, glancing at the uninvited guests very bored. She's working for you right. McCall took a deep breath, tried his best to keep his expression calmer, looked at the leading man and asked. Robert. Terry was a little worried about McCall. After all, her boss wasn't someone to mess with. McCall nodded to Terry, then looked at the leading man. At the moment, the leading man seemed to be thinking about something, and he didn't follow up. Did you see her? 
After a few seconds of silence, the leading man seemed to have thought of something good and asked McCall with a smile on his face. I have almost $10,000. McCall did not continue, but replied lightly. He he he. The leading man across from him seemed to have heard something quite funny, patted McCall's shoulder with a smile, grabbed Terry's forearm, and dragged him out. 10,000 knives, I can give you better. When he reached the door, the leading man stopped and turned his head to, kindly remind, Douchin to McCall. Out of 10, how much do you give? After the little girl left with those people helplessly, Linte pouted, looked at McCall in disgust, and then asked John who was beside him. Zero points. John took a deep breath and looked disgusted. So, Robert, that's it. You just let them go. Although Lin Tay is not a good person, he is quite protective of his shortcomings. Although that little girl had nothing to do with him, he naturally wouldn't stand idly by when his friend faced such a thing. I can handle it. McCall glanced at the car outside and gave a dull reply. You sure? By the way, don't you want to take out your little savings and talk business with those idiots? Lin Tay looked at McCall and asked with disdain. If you can. McCall nodded and admitted, not paying any attention to Lin Tay's contemptuous expression. Older people always think more. John patted Lin Tay's shoulder and said helplessly. Come on, in terms of age, I'm the oldest one, okay. Lin Tay turned his head and patted John's hand away in disgust. You are different. John rolled his eyes at 340 Lin Tay and muttered very speechlessly. In fact, compared to Lin Tay's, simple and direct, idea, John, who already has a family, can understand McCall. After all, if you can get money to solve the problem, try to find as little trouble as possible. Yes, any one of the three men present can easily wipe out a small gang. But, who knows who is behind them? If one gang is killed and another gang comes, what will happen to the child's life in the future? Is it hard to hide in a remote place for the rest of your life? Thinking about other people's dreams, McCall wanted to help a child fulfill her own wish, rather than simply letting the child change her life to a life she still didn't like. Definitely, these situations may not be a problem for Lin Tay. After all, after understanding some of Lin Tay's operations, John also knew what kind of person his old friend was. Regardless of the number of opponents, regardless of the opponent's power, as long as he is willing, he has the strength to wipe out everything. But McCall is different. Moreover, as an old man, who has lived half his life, it is impossible for him to always rely on Lin Tay to help him solve his troubles. The strength makes me unable to understand your messy worries, but, Robert, if you need to, speak up. Lin Tay sighed, too lazy to say too much. Everyone has their own way of solving problems, and Lin Tay doesn't want to influence others too much. Let's eat. McCall nodded, and without saying much, he silently picked up the coffee and said to Lin Tay. An unpleasant dinner that soon ended. Lin Tay left with a little helplessness. Actually, he's just thinking more simply. John looked at Lin Tay's retreating back, sighed, and said to McCall after a moment of silence. I understand. McCall nodded. He didn't know what Lin Tay was thinking. However, in his opinion, this trivial matter is really not worth letting Lin Tay take action. After all, McCall noticed that there were so many, monitors, outside Lin Tay's shop every day. He really didn't want those messy people to disturb Lin Tay's life because of his own business. There may be some trouble on his side, but I'm fine with that, if you need to speak up at any time. John saw McCall's sincere expression, so he didn't need to say more, he said a word directly, and left. McCall stood alone on the corner of the street, tilted his head and glanced at the dark night sky, and couldn't help laughing. The next morning, Lin Tay just woke up and was sitting at the counter, bored. John came to Lin Tay's shop with a rather solemn expression. What's wrong, I ah? Lin Tay looked at John's serious look, and couldn't help but ask with some doubts. Robert missed yesterday. John frowned and said to Lin Tay. Just kidding, a bunch of little trash can stop him. Lin Tay chuckled when he heard the words, he didn't believe John's words at all, he thought John was joking. So a bunch of little hips can make McCall miss. This is definitely a big joke. Although Lin Tay doesn't know what McCall did in CIA, Lin Tay still recognizes McCall's skills. Don't look at the middle-aged people, but, without any precautions, three or five people, he packed up, it didn't even take a minute. 
there was a guy nicknamed Hammerhead in that mousy night, who seemed to be a little special. John sighed and said helplessly to Lin Tay. John also believes that McCall will not be surprised if it is only dealing with some ordinary gangsters. However, when he received a call from there today asking him to redeem people, he only heard some details. The other party has a gang thug who seems to have the indestructible ability. He didn't expect it, and it is no wonder that McCall will miss and be captured. This is also the main reason why John didn't call on the door hastily and first came to Lin Tay to understand the situation. Hammer. Lin Tay scratched his head when he heard the words, and muttered with a puzzled look on his face. Joseph Harrow, I heard some fame in Hell's Kitchen. John nodded and replied solemnly. Wait for me to call and ask. Lin Tay can't remember what kind of character this so-called hammerhead is. However, since John said that the other party is famous in Hell's Kitchen, Lin Tay will naturally not forget his other friend. Fatty, do you know a guy nicknamed Hammerhead? Um. There was no hatred before, but now there is. Okay, got it. In a few words, Lin Tay already knew what he needed. After hanging up the phone, Lin Tay picked up a windbreaker from the hangar and took John directly to Hell's Kitchen. Are you sure? I heard that guy is an undead monster. On the way, John asked Lin Tay worriedly. Although Lin Tay's ability John also knows a lot, but, based on the information he inquired from his way. That guy named Hammerhead is also a very difficult guy to deal with. If he's really immortal, then I'll make him yearn for death. Lin Tay shook his head and replied contemptuously. Not to mention the, strength, of the other party's considerable moisture, that is, it really has the regenerative healing factor and Lin Tay also has enough means to make the other party kneel and beg for death. Lin Tay and John walked for about 20 minutes, and finally came to Jin and gave Lin Tay the address. In front of an escort service company that seems to be somewhat, regular. Lin Tay turned to John and said, although I'm here on business today, John, remember, I never enter such a place. Why are the places you pay attention to always so out of place with us? We're here to save people okay. I'm not here to find a girl. Hearing Lin Tay's words, John couldn't help rolling his eyes, looking at Lin Tay babbling angrily. Lin Tay pouted, looked at John with a serious face and said, this is about, do I have a good reputation? Okay, okay, dot you have the final say, or else, you just take down their signboard. At least, this way, before you go in, they're already, out of business. John shook his head and looked at Lin Tay's proposal speechlessly. Nice proposal. When Lin Tay heard John's joke, he didn't seem to take it as a joke, but nodded solemnly, agreeing quite happily. Then, with John's confused expression on his face, Lin Tay took out a hot melt grenade, pulled the safety catch, and threw it directly at the gate. You'd better stand behind me. Lin Tay then turned around and reminded John. Although the hot melt grenade is only a relatively, powerful, individual weapon, but... Anyway, the hot melt thing is pretty big. Buzz. After a roar, John walked out from behind Lin Tay, looking at the building that seemed to be bombarded by large caliber artillery, and didn't know what to say for a while. During the day, are you trying to send us all into the NYPD? John looked around, then asked Lin Tay. Don't worry, I've come up with something fun recently. When we're done, I'll show you what an accident is. Lin Tay raised his hand and patted John's shoulder, and said with a smile. It's true that Lin Tay's commotion was a bit louder. However, for Lin Tay, he is not what he needed before. Fearless, person. He now has a prop that can simulate natural disasters, meteorites falling from the sky. The scope of the destruction is slightly larger, and I believe the public should be able to understand it. Thinking of this, Lin Tay couldn't help laughing. Dude. Need some of my little toys. Lin Tay looked at the bare-handed John Wick, tilted his head, and asked with a smile. Small caliber. Forget it, I'll go directly to the person inside to get it later. As soon as John opened his mouth, he saw the messy weapons that Lin Tay had drawn out, which he did not know at all, and resolutely chose to give up. A laser gun. A grenade like a miniature mushroom bomb. Forget it, he felt that, as a professional killer. He and Lin Tay were not on the same line at all. Everyone seems to have some essential differences in the way of solving troubles. Ah, 
Lucius Light Gun, although this flashlight is not very good for some thick armored melon skins, but there is absolutely no problem in hitting these ordinary people. Lin Tae looked at the pile of rubbish he took out, picked out a relatively serious looking weapon, and handed it to John. We're here to solve trouble. Dot not to make trouble. Log in to continue reading. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support our channel.